There's Don James on the sideline, and Donnie James in his 11th year at Washington, 95 or 92 wins, 35 losses at Washington, and he is 8-2 and two against the Cougars, 4-1 and one against Washington State here in Seattle, and he'll get the gloves on right now. Back deep for the Cougars as they break their huddle right now. Junior T, Tau, to Alatasi. <laughs> Boy, that's going to be a name for us today, isn't it? <laughs> Tatalatasi. Ta -ta Tatalatasi. I think people know who we're talking about. We mentioned his name first. Erwin Chappelle also back on the goal line, number 44. You can see the turf. It's just rock solid. Long, long kick going into the end zone over Chappelle. And will bounce out of the end zone so the Cougars will put in play first and 10 at their own 20. You sort of have to stamp your feet up here, just stomp them just a little bit to, to get some circulation going here in the press box because what it feet? is open <laughs> and just cold. For Washington State, they will start on their own 20, and oh, you keep an eye on Mark Rippon, an outstanding quarterback, number 17. He is big, he's 6'4", 225 pounds. He's a senior out of Spokane. But Reuben Mays, number 36, is the big running back that long with Junior T in motion to the right side. Handoff up the middle. Straight ahead, Reuben Mays. Mays will pick up about five on the plate of the 25, so it's second and five for Washington State there. And you're gonna see a lot of that in this football game. Schuster, Linder, Ladinas, Dreyer, and Utley across the offensive line for Washington State. Cougars second and five at their own 25. Junior T in motion. Rippon looks to the outside and throws the ball low. He was bumped just as he threw it. The Talatasi was the intended receiver, but the ball was low. Rick Chase, Chris Layton, and Kittrick Taylor starting for Washington State. Taylor a late change. Michael James was supposed to start. Rippon, Mays, and Junior T. The Talatasi starting at fullback for Washington State. Third and five, first third down of the ball game for the Cougars. Huskies up now on a four-man front, couple of linebackers in tight. Rippon throws to the outside. It is complete for a first down at the 35. Pass complete to Kendrick Taylor. So the first first down of the ball game, you get another look from the end zone. Third and five here, Bruce, just a straight drop back pass, and he looked for a little quick out by uh, by Taylor, and he caught the ball for the first down. Possession type throw just to pick up the first down. Erlison making the stop for the Huskies. First and 10 for Washington State now on their own 35. Ball on the hash mark on the left side of the field. Fakes the handoff inside, rolling to the outside, throws intended for Cotton Sears and incomplete. So it brings up a second and 10, 13.56 to play here in the first quarter. No score between Washington and Washington State. Jimmy Walden looking for his third win over Washington. His second win here in Husky Stadium. Second and 10, the ball at the 35. Huskies and the Cougars, not a full house today. Snow in the stands. Husky Stadium was sold out, but not everyone is here. Ruben Mays in motion to the left. Hadley comes in to make the first stop on Rippon, and he loses three. Back to the 33-yard line, 32. So now, third and a short 13 for Washington State. But they're going to mark it really at the 34, so make it 11. 13.29 to go, first quarter. Last time the Huskies and the Cougars played here was in a driving rainstorm, and Washington State won it by a score of 17 to 6. Rippon facing his second, third down of the ball game. Three receivers out, throws over the middle. Great diving catch in Washington territory at the 44-yard line, and the Cougars have a first down. Michael James made the play. Chris Layton, the tight end. The, the Cougars had three wide receivers to one side. They put Mays in motion to the other side and then hit the tight end down the middle. Very nice throw and a good catch by Layton. First and 10 for Washington State now in Husky territory, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Exactly 13 minutes to play here in the first quarter. 
Tight end moves to the left. And off to Mays just as he gets the ball, and he's driven back by a host of Huskies. Reggie Rogers, number 51, led the charge. This is a straight dive play, and it looked to me like Andy Fuyamano made a nice play initially. Oh, that's Reggie Rogers, and Andy Fuyamano makes the second hit right there. Puts his hat right on the ball. Got uh, Kelly coming in for help. Good play defensively. Second and 10 for Washington State on the Husky 45. Game just underway. No score in the football game. Rip it. Big quarterback for Washington State calls signal. Taylor. Put out wide to the right, handoff straight ahead. Ruben Mays, Mays takes the ball to near the 40-yard line. It'll bring up now third and Robert five. On the, stop. the Cougars are two for two on third down. Third down, five yards to go on the Husky 40. They'll send in two wide receivers now. They make two changes. The Huskies lining up defensively. We'll get that for you in just a moment. You see Andy Fuimaono, number 64, right there. Reggie Rogers is also there, along with Jimmy Matthews. Third and five for Washington State. Go to the outside, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Intended for Michael James. So to bring up fourth down for Washington State now, we've got an injured player down for the Huskies down at about the 35 and that's Tim Peoples the strong safety for Washington I should say the weak safety for the Huskies he moved over from the strong safety position now playing weak safety and he is down and he's had some problems before but boy that would make a difference for the Huskies right now Tony Zachary played that position earlier for Washington but Tim Peoples is down he's the six one and a half hundred ninety three pound junior from San Jose California and I think going into this game, the Huskies felt that people really had to play well defensively. Bruce, uh, talking to the Husky coaches yesterday, the defensive coaches, they felt that Tim would be a very big factor in this game, both in defending the pass and supporting the run versus the option, so they can't afford to lose him. It doesn't look like that he's hurt too bad. He's walking off the field. He looks like he's going to be okay. Glenn Harper, the senior from Edmonton, Alberta, an outstanding kicker, averaging over 39 yards a kick this year will kick for Washington Ronnie Miles standing back on the 10-yard line for the Huskies off the side of his kick or the side of his foot ball bounces at 21 takes a Washington bounce and it's going to finally be down to the 29-yard line only an 11-yard kick 11-yard kick for Harper so with 11-13 to play here in the first quarter at Husky Stadium, it's Washington nothing and Washington State nothing. You don't have to tell anyone how much you save by shopping at Kuppenheimer. Since Kuppenheimer makes the clothes, then sells the clothes, you buy them for less, 40% less. And the selection of suits, sport coats, slacks, shirts, and ties is sensational. Uh, what a relief to pay low prices for quality clothing. At Kuppenheimer. We don't cut corners to cut the price. To a land rich with opportunity, we bring the tools to succeed. Selected technologies from the world's finest communications companies are now yours from one source. Out of the heritage of three Bell Telephone Companies comes U.S. West Information Systems. Nobody knows the trails better. Washington will start Chris Chandler at quarterback with Covington, Weathersby, and Toy in a full house backfield. First and 10 now to 29 for the Huskies. Chandler has the ball knocked loose. Back at the 10, rolls out of bounds, and Washington will retain possession at the 8-yard line. Well, they had good pressure on him that time, and uh, they knocked the ball out before he started his throwing motion, and, and, and 
22-yard loss. Here. Chandler drops back on the very first play of the ball game, number 73, and there puts pressure on him, knocks the ball loose. But the ball does go out of bounds before either team is able to fall on it, so it is the Husky ball, but back on about their eight-yard line. Eric Howard making the play. Outstanding defensive tackle. Handoff straight ahead for Washington. They pick Covington up only about three. That's Covington with the ball. He's starting in place of Rick Fenny. Rick Fenny, the big fullback, the Huskies' leading rusher. Huskies' only game that they've won this year without Fenny in the lineup was last uh, week against USC when they won it 20 to 17. A four yards on the play. Third and 28 for Washington now. Ball Third across down, the 10, almost to, to the 12. Ball just inside the Husky 12. Chandler looking over a six-man Washington State front. Hand off to the outside is David Toy. And Toy across the 15. He gets the ball out to the 16. Way short of the first down, so the Huskies will have to kick it away. First offensive series, the Huskies go the wrong way on a fumble. Cedric Brown was the man who made the stop on the play. So uh, Huskies now will have to kick the ball away, and they will send Jeff Jager back to kick. Or Thane Cleland, what am I saying? Thane Cleland. We'll get it right here. And I'm freezing to death up here. I don't know how you are. 9.57 to play here in the first quarter. No score. Kittrick Taylor back for the Cougars. Flag down at the line of scrimmage. Fair catch called for at the 44-yard line of Washington State by Kittrick Taylor. But there is a flag back at the 12. It's a 40-yard punt. There's a penalty flag down. The punt good for 40 yards. Offside, defense, penalty declined. Penalty is declined. First down. Cougar ball, first and ten, just inside their own 44. Cougars will take it over now at the 44, their own 44. No score in the ball game. 9:48 to play here in the first quarter from a cold Husky stadium. Cougars picked up a couple of first downs on their first drive. We'll see what they can do now. Last time here. Cougars defeated Washington 17 to 6 last year in Pullman it was 38 29 Washington had to come from behind to win Mark Rippon the quarterback junior to Talatasi and Ruben Mays the running back Talatasi breaks through but the pitch to Mays to the outside fooled our camera and it also fooled the Huskies as Mays picks up 12 yards around the left side and a first down before he's run out of bounds that yeah, this is a great fake by the uh, Cougars because it looked like Talatasi had the ball up the middle and uh, they pitched it out to uh, Mays going around the left end and he makes a nice game. Ron Milas is the man who ran him out of bounds. Milas, the 5'9 180 180-pound senior from Tacoma. First and 10 for Washington State. The ball at the 44, the Washington 44. Mays, the only setback. Rippin. Plenty of time. Throws deep. Has a man there. The eighth touchdown. Washington yeah. State completes to Michael James. That was Mark Rippon to Michael James from 44 yards out for the score. Mark Rippon throwing a 44-yard touchdown pass to Michael James and the junior from Lakes High School in Tacoma was wide open behind the Washington defensive secondary. So the Cougars on the scoreboard first, and they made it look easy. I don't think that uh, Rippon was going for James initially. It looked like he was looking for somebody else and had a little pressure on him off the play-action fake. And then he saw Mike, uh, uh, James down the middle wide open, and he, and he threw it to him for the touchdown. Crowd adds the extra point, and all at once it is 7 to nothing Washington State. That's James' second touchdown catch of the year. 9.33 to play in the first quarter from Husky Stadium. It is Washington State 7 and Washington nothing. McDonald's new McDLT. It could be the best tasting lettuce and tomato hamburger ever. You get a hot side hot. You get a cool side cool. New McD. LT and the hot stays and the cool stays. New McD, LT. It's a good time for the great days. Doesn't it? New McD, LT. Come on in and try McDonald's new McD LT for the everyday low price of just $1.49. We think you'll agree. McD LT could be the best hamburger value ever. 
Oh, light beer, please. <laughs> Not just any light beer. Make it a Rainier light. If you don't drink this, I feel honey, you ain't got the best. Yes, the truth do me a breath, son. Go easy on your way. You gotta try, try this Rainier light. Discover how Mountain Fresh light beer can taste. Washington State 7, Washington nothing. From Husky Stadium in Seattle, 44-yard touchdown pass for Washington State. Outstanding play from Mark Rippon to Michael James. Short kick. Trimble with it. Trimble still on his feet. The ball knocked down at the 25. 16-yard return for David Trimble. Here's another look at the touchdown pass. You just see, Riffin only took a three-step drop, and he was looking for somebody on a quick route, and then he saw James down the middle open, as I indicated before, and he hit him for the touchdown. He wasn't the intended receiver initially. First and ten for Washington at the 26. Full house backfield for the Huskies. Rod Jones moves now from the right to the left side. Toy in motion to the left. Cougars close in Tony hurry. Covington picks up only about uh, two on the play. Make it second and eight now as the ball moves out to the 28-yard line. Washington State seven, Washington nothing. Brian Ford made the stop, and he is an outstanding middle linebacker for Washington State. Full house backfield again for Washington. Second and a long eight. Over the right side on just a dive play Covington. was Covington again. Ford made the stop again for the Cougars. And that's the Washington State offensive line, and I wish they were out there, but they're not. They're on the sideline right now. 8.36 to play here in the first quarter. Huskies have the football. They're trying to move it after trailing by a score of 7 to nothing on a 44-yard touchdown pass. Slot left for Washington. You're looking now from the end zone. Rod Jones in motion to the right. Back to throw. Chandler throws to the outside. It is complete to uh, Vince Weathersby, and Weathersby picks up the first down as he goes across the 35 out to about the 37-yard line. Cedric Brown, Artie Holmes with the defenders for Washington State on the play. So the Huskies get their first first down of the ball game. Here's that Washington offensive line sold at Zandusky, Egan, Burnham, and Gogan across the front. Gogan, an outstanding player. Hill, Jones, and Franklin are the wide receivers. Chandler back to throw. In rush, going to be hit, and Chandler goes down back at the 30. Mike Beasley, starting at the right defensive end position, was the first man to hit him, a senior out of Palo Alto. They've had some pressure on Chandler, and uh, the guy that's been doing most of the damage up to this point was number 73, Eric Howard. But here, Mike Be Beasley comes in there, right there, gets the hit, gets him down. Rob Cleveland also went on the play for Washington State. Second now and 18. Ball back at 30. Draw. Covington straight ahead, but tripped up by... Brian Ford, after he picks up, oh, about uh, three on the play. Now, say only a yard now, make it third and 15. The ball now at the 32-yard line, the Washington 32. Cougars lead at seven to nothing with four, with 6.49 to play here in the first quarter. Chandler, big rush again. Keeps the football, breaks it. Oh, what a hit! The 35. He is just unloaded upon in the 35-yard line. And the Cougars, Mike Beasley, making a big hit on Chandler. And Chris Chandler's having his problems right now. And one of the problems is the offensive line of Washington because they're not giving him the time to throw. They're having a real tough time protecting Chandler. And uh, 
the Cougars are just laying their ears back and coming after him on long yardage situations. They're not worried about the run at all. Kittrick Taylor standing back on the 20. Thane Cleland to punt. The left side of his foot will go out of bounds inside the 25 at the 23 yard line. So Washington State will put it in play at their own 23. The Cougars are moving their defensive linemen around a little bit, Bruce. They're taking Eric Howard and Tom Pettick. They're two tackles, and one time Howard will line up on the left and Pettick the right, and the next time they'll switch the opposite size. I don't know why they're doing it yet, but they're causing some problems for the Husky offensive line. Turnovers have been a problem for Washington State so far this year. But so far, they play very well. Taylor in motion to the left. That was Rippon who fell, tried to fake the handoff inside Kelly. Joe Kelly was the first man to make contact for Washington. David Rill also there. Steve Albert now in the ball game for the Huskies at the nose guard position. Andy Fuimaono, Steve Albert, and uh, Reggie Rogers. I see where Peoples is back in the game, so he can't be hurt too much. Is that, yeah, that's his quick. Tim Peoples, the 26. Second and ten for Washington State. Really slippery down there. Hand off to Reuben Mays, and you can see what happened then. He ran into a host of Huskies led by David Rail, number 38. The sophomore from Fort Orchard, Washington. That end of the field is especially slippery. It's a lot more slippery than it is at the other end. Both teams have got to be careful when they're at this end of the field, both offensively and defensively. Third and nine for Washington State. The ball now at their own 24. They lead it 7-0 on a 44-yard touchdown pass. Rippon, Demez, two wide receivers. Put out wide to the left, and Taylor and Sear. Draw. Ruben Mays. Mays the first down at the 40-yard line. Ruben Mays, just a low. This is a great call by uh, Rippon. Third and ten, and he handed it to Mays on the draw. Mays found a big hole, broke all the way into the secondary before number 27, Vesty Jackson, made the tackle. Bo Yates also there to help out. First and ten now for Washington State at their own 40. Robin Mays, 1,060 yards this year, 1,600 last year. The first Cougar ever to go over 1,000, two years in a row. Pitch to the outside. He's going to be tackled and stopped right there. David Rill was the first man to hit him. Junior to Talatasi was the man with the ball. Number 38. He's out of Alameda, California. 5'11", 200-pound senior. He doesn't carry the ball that often. And what he does, you know, you concentrate on a Reuben Mays so often that if you can get the ball outside to Junior, look out. You know what? He's averaging six and a half yards every time he carries the ball. Not very often, but effective when he does it. Second and ten at the fourth. Straight ahead. That's Reuben Mays across the 45 up to the 47 yard line. It's going to be a couple of yards short of the first down. Andy Fui Maona was the first man to hit him. We remind you, you are watching today's football game on KOMO TV, Channel 4 in Seattle. Washington, Washington State, 78th annual Apple Cup game. Right now in the first quarter, it's 7-0 in favor of the Cougars. Cougars have the ball, third and two. They get the first down across midfield into Washington territory to the Husky 48. Reuben Mays picking up the first down for the Cougars. Kuima Ono and Ronnie Headley in on the play. Reuben Mays, 6 feet, 202, North Battleford, Alberta, three-year letterman. Ten touchdowns this year, averaging over five yards a carry. He picks up the first down for the Cougars now at the 48. 241 to play here in the first quarter. Cougars lead it seven to nothing. Two wide receivers put out wide to the left. Running back in motion. Whippen's going to be hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Fui Maono, number 64, the first man to get him. He lettered, interestingly enough, he's 6'2", 288, as you see, as a fullback here at Washington. He weighed 250 pounds out of South San Francisco. Second 
and oh make it a long nine ball at the 48 yard line 204 to play in the first quarter two backs in the backfield now for the Cougars as you see pitch to the outside to Mays slips and goes down at the 45 make a junior to Talatasi on the outside Cougars had a pretty good play going there and then uh, <clears throat> Mays did or Talatasi did uh, slip on the wet turf junior how you got that down Ta junior Talatasi. okay I right. want to make sure I'm gonna get it here before the <laughs> game's over the Talatasi good looking back third down third and six ball at the 45 crowd comes alive some Husky fans on their feet draw straight ahead close to the marker but short that's Reuben Mays at the 40 and he's going to be a yard short of the first down so what will the Cougars do they've been moving Looks the ball like really they're very go well for it. I would think they would David Rail the first man to hit him across that front line for Washington State as Reuben Mays number 24 next to him Rick Chase if they ever go to that wishbone Chase who was the split in ends up playing fullback Cougars a little short on backfield uh, backup people today Bruce according to the coaches they've only got one or two guys that can come in and one of their starters got hurt fourth and a yard whistle blows and they may have taken too much time flag they down they did and they're going to cost them five yards and they'll have to kick away the football now with 37 seconds to play here in the first quarter that's a costly error right there fourth and one of a chance to pick up a first down deep in Husky territory and they take too much time now they've got to punt the ball away Harper back to kick he had an 11 yard kick the first time he had to punt the ball today Ron Miles standing back on the 10 for Washington a high hanging kick fair catch called for by Miles and he'll take the ball at the 13 and the Huskies will put it in play there at their own 13. So 21 seconds to go here in the first half. The score, Washington State 7 and Washington nothing. Found's Ultra Naturals presents Glove Story. Want to sit? No, wet can stay. Not me. Us Found's gloves are treated with an exclusive stain-resisting process by Patagi Indian. This rain's gonna ruin us. Not me. I'm rain repellent, even washable. I'll dry wrinkles. I dry like new. Here's my date. He's a Founds, too. Founds Ultra Naturals, the softest, most supple leather, specially treated to resist stains. Wish I was treated like that. For tires that can take it, look to Les Schwab. They're looking out for you. Rain traction, snow traction, for the places you need to go, the things you want to do. When you need traction, the answer is Les Schwab. We welcome you back to Husky Stadium. 21 seconds to play here in the first quarter. It has been all Washington State so far. David Toy straight ahead. Tony Covington. Make it Covington straight ahead. He picks up about six on the play second and four and that should be the last play of the first quarter Eric Howard was the man who made the stop boy big Eric Howard has had an outstanding first quarter here and as we'd mentioned the Cougars dominated play here in the first quarter against Washington and they scored on that 44 yard touchdown pass and that's been the difference in the ball game so far so at the end of the first quarter it is Washington State seven and Washington nothing There's something about a Nissan 4x4 that makes turning it off just about the toughest thing you can do. Nissan calls it electro-fuel injection, independent front suspension, and a tough box ladder steel chassis. You just call it outrageous performance. Who won? <laughs> Who cares? For an unbeatable 4x4, the name is Nissan. The trucks keep arriving day and night, bringing a huge assortment of merchandise. We're paying back November month-long sales. Like this first alert rechargeable light. 
factory direct at just $15.97 after manufacturer's rebate. This white toilet seat, sale priced at $3.69. Your choice of six types of GE silicone two caulking, warehouse priced at $0.99 cents a cartridge after manufacturer's rebate. Nobody in town can match the pack for price. Why bother to shop anywhere else? See some of the fans here at Husky Stadium enjoying the 78th meeting between the Huskies and the Cougars in the Apple Cup game. Temperature, oh, in the high 20s right now. Huskies have it. Second and four, the ball at their own 18, 19-yard line. Hit at the line of scrimmage and driven back by Washington State as the Cougars seem to own that line of scrimmage. Ball gets up to the 20. Howard was the first man who made contact. Covington with the ball for Washington, number 39. Covington, 5'11 and a half, 198 pounds out of Portland, starting in place of Rick Fenney. Fenney, the big fullback out of Snohomish, still hampered by injuries and will not play today, as we understand. Huskies come up in that full house backfield that they have used. They, well, they really introduced it against uh, USC and ran the entire ball game. Now only two backs set in the backfield. Two wide receivers out. Here comes Chandler on third and three. To dive ahead and get the first down across the 25. So Chris Chandler gets the first down for Washington. Huskies have their second first down of the ball game. Artie Holmes in the strong safety position, along with Ben Carrillo making the stop for Washington State. The Huskies have had a little difficult time protecting Chandler when he dropped straight back, so this time they rolled him out to his right. And uh, there was a breakdown as far as the Cougars were concerned with contain, so he just ran for the first down. First and 10 for Washington. Okay. The ball on the Husky 27 right now. 14.04 to play, second quarter. That's Weathersby over the right side. Weathersby gets to the 31. He picks up four on the play. Ford in on the play. And Loomis was the second man there for Washington State. Two-year letterman out of Roseburg, Oregon. Cougars playing a lot of different people right now. That defense has really changed for them. But got to keep your eye on 73 today. Eric Howard, outstanding defensive tackle. Second and six for Washington. They say picked up four on the play. Full house backfield again. Chandler's going to keep. Chandler still on his feet. Short of the 40 and very close to the first down. I think he got the ball out to the 38, and that should be another first down for Washington. So the Huskies get another first down, moving the ball against the Cougars for the first time in the ball game now. Rob Cleveland, in that left end position. Chandler, big guy, six, three and a half. 205 pounds, sophomore out of Everett. Everybody's wanted to see this guy play. He was a high school All-American when he was recruited here three years ago. Red shirted a year. Hasn't really had a chance to play. Up against USC, his first start last week. Toy in motion to the left. First and ten for Washington. Chandler back to throw. Completes his first pass. Rod Jones, the receiver. He picks up Oh, five on the play. Takes the ball out to the 43. Don James, freezing Don James. It's his son-in-law calling signals over at the left. 12-29 to play here in the second quarter. Cougars lead it by a score of 7-0. Huskies putting together really their first drive of the game. Second and five. Ball at the 43. Toy in motion to the left. Chandler to throw again. Pumps it to the outside to Weathers. He's at the 45. Midfield. Cougar territory. And finally knocked out of bounds at the Cougar 44. Hardy Holmes is the man who knocked him out of bounds. Along with Ricky Reynolds coming over from the left corner position. Chandler just flipping the ball to the outside to his running back, Vince Weathersby. And the little guy from Los Angeles. Takes the ball into Cougar territory. What you try to do on this type of thing, Bruce, you try to get your backs out in the flat, a little flare route where they're one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker or a defensive back coming up, and then try to get him some yards. It's almost like a running play, and it was very successful there for the Huskies. Chandler, two out of three so far in the ball game. Looks to the outside. Mo Hill in and out of his hands. Incomplete. He had Mo Hill wide open. Mo Hill being defended out there by Artie Holmes, the strong safety. Hale just took his eyes off the ball. He started to run too quickly. Lonzel Hill. He and made two fourth down catches against USC in that drive 
to win that ball game and then the touchdown catch that I don't think Husky fans will ever forget. He's had a great year and he's a great young receiver. Second and 10 for Washington. That's Covington down to the 39 yard line. Terulia makes the stop for Washington State. He's the outside linebacker from Sammamish High School out of Bellevue. Four yard pickup. Third and a six now for Washington. Well, just across the 40 and the 39. Chris Chandler. Looking at a four man front of Washington State. Trimble in now. He's in motion to the left. Chandler rolling out. Going to keep the ball. Gets to the 40. Gets to the first down marker with a burst of speed. Chris Chandler just put on a burst of speed and gets to the first down marker. He takes the ball inside the 35 to the 33. Husky fans finally on their feet for the first time. It has been quiet here so far. But Chandler's begin to electrify this crowd and get them moving on a cold, cold day in Seattle. Washington State 7, Washington nothing, 10.55 to play here in the second quarter. The annual Apple Cup game. Ball on the hash mark on the far side of the field. Huskies going toward the open end of the field here at Husky Stadium. Wind has died down to nothing now. First and 10 for Washington. Draw. Covington breaks the tackle. Covington fights his way down across the 20 to the 18. Tony Covington finally stopped by Artie Holmes or he'd have been going all the way. Covington 5'11 and a half, 198 out of Cleveland High School in Portland. 16-yard pickup. One way to slow down that rush a little bit, Bruce, is to run the draw play. And if you noticed that, we, you, if you didn't see it, you might have seen it there. Eric Howard, who's given him a lot of trouble, ran right by Covington when he got the ball. 10.35 to play here in the second quarter. The ball at the 18, the Cougar 18. Left side, Covington again, inside the 15, down to the 13. Terulia was the man who tripped him up on the play. Pick up a four, second and six. 10-17 to play in the second quarter. Washington State seven. Washington nothing. Huskies putting together their first drive of the ball game. That Cougar defense now trying to dig in. Goldhouse backfield for Washington. Weathersby, Covington and Toy the running back. Second and six. That's Covington trying to find some daylight over the left side, but boy, I tell you, there was nothing there. You got everybody in on the play. Beasley was there. Tarugia was there. Pettick was there. You had a lot of people from Washington State. Not blocked very well on the left side. But defended very well. Big number 72 in that huddle with his back to you, Kevin Gogan. A lot of people feel he's one of the best offensive tackles in the Pac-10. Third and three now for Washington. First big third down of the ball game. Third and long three. The ball at the 11. Pitch to the outside. David Toy trying to get to that first down marker. He comes up short. A yard short. Kevin Thomason from the free safety position makes the stop. Now it's decision time for Don James. He trails seven to nothing. Will they go for the first down? James has always been one of those coaches. He said, you get down there, you try to get some points on the scoreboard, but this time, apparently, he's going to go for it. Free change in strategy for the Huskies. Scott Bowes in the ball game, along with Rod Jones, double tight end. Full house backfield. Cookers have everybody up at the line of scrimmage. Fourth and a yard. Chandler looks, says they're not going to jump offside, said, I can't hear the crowd. And he ran out of time on the scoreboard. Just two seconds left. Looked up at the scoreboard and said, wait a minute, I need a timeout. Flags fly. And I'm not sure that he called the timeout. I didn't see him call a timeout. I didn't either. Well, I think what they did is this. When you think about it for just a moment, he looked over, barked a signal, hoping to get the, maybe the Cougars offside. Well, and that, that didn't happen. To do, Took sure. the five Delay a game. Penalty. Penalty Offense. Still fourth down. That's exactly what he was trying to do. He was going to try. He, when he walked away from the center, he was trying to get the Cougars to jump, jump off. Too. Yeah. That's right. 
So now they'll bring Jagger in and give him a better angle to kick the field goal. The ball on the 21. It'll be a 31-yard field goal from the left hash mark. Chandler to hold. Jagger, 19 of 21 so far this year. Kick is up and the kick is good. And Jeff Jagger gets the Huskies on the scoreboard with a 31-yard field goal. 8:21 to play here in the second quarter. State Reuben Mays so far nine carries 64 yards in the ball game. Mays over a thousand yards this year again. First and ten for Washington State. Mays again. Mays carries a couple of more tackles with him and gets picks up 12 and gets out to the 42. Bo Yates, Tim Peoples trying to hang on and stop the big guy out of North Battleford, Alberta. This maze is a uh, an exceptional back. He's got great speed. He's got great power. They just give him the ball here on the dive. There's a nice hole through the Husky defense, and he picks up a good gain. He's going the wrong way there for just a second. 7.40 to play here in the second quarter. Cougars on a drive. Two first downs in a row. Junior T are making Reuben Mays. Number 36 with the ball. That play was very similar to the last play. The repeat play, very successful again. You got to stop the dive first when you're trying to defend this option. Bo Yates making the first contact on the play, but he picks up seven yards. Second now and three. The ball right at midfield. Husky defense, Fuima Ono. Steve Alberts in there, Reggie Rogers. Pitch to the outside. First down. Still on his feet. Junior T and finally knocked out of bounds. Washington State pitching the ball to the outside. Just outside the Husky 25th. Here it is again. This is the option play here with Riffin coming down the line and pitching the ball to Junior T. The Husky should have had somebody responsible for him. It looked like Yates might have been the guy out there. I'm not sure. He might have gotten blocked, but it was T a good pickup for the Cougars. Tatelatasi, junior Tatelatasi was there. Alan James knocked him out of bounds. 23-yard gain. The ball now moving to the Washington 26. A first down for Washington State. Dive straight ahead. Pick up only a couple. Joe Kelly is there. Reuben Mays on the play. So the Cougars on the move, and that's one of the things that Washington State can do so well. They'll play the dive inside, inside, and all at once you crunch down, try to stop that. They come to the outside in that little pitch, and they run that option, and it's very, very difficult to stop. The, the Washington State coaches have a very good concept of how to run this option. They've run it for a number of years, and they do an excellent job with it. Rippin behind his center, Kurt Ladinas. Rippin back to throw, looks to the outside, has a man wide open. Touchdown, Washington State. Kittrick Taylor. Cougar fans love it. Kittrick Taylor. And Mark Rippon hook up on a 24-yard touchdown pass. Oh, they made it look easy. Here it is again. They had Kittrick Taylor in the slot. To the right of your screen, he ran right down the seam and caught the ball behind the linebackers and, and in front of the deep secondary people, took it in for the touchdown. John Trout in to add the extra point. The kick is perfect. And 6-12 to play here in the second quarter from Husky Stadium in Seattle. It is Washington State 14 and Washington 3. You don't have to tell anyone how much you save by shopping at Kuppenheimer. Since Kuppenheimer makes the clothes, then sells the clothes, you buy them for less, 40% less. And the selection of suits, sport coats, slacks, shirts, and ties is sensational. Uh, what a relief to pay low prices for quality clothing. At Kuppenheimer. We don't cut corners to cut the price. Hi, I'm Dick Enberg for GTE. You know, telecommunications and football have a lot in common. They both involve things like good connections, conference calls, and data communications. 
And for their communications, more and more NFL teams rely on GTE. Teams like the Dallas Cowboys, Tampa Bay Bucks, Indianapolis Colts, and Seattle Seahawks. For your quality communications, talk to the telecommunications consultant to Super Bowl XX. Talk to GTE. We respond. Washington State Band, a long trip for them to come across the mountains for this football game. But all the love and ever minute of it right now is the Cougars lead the Huskies 14 to 3 here in the second quarter. Trout to kick it off for Washington State. Back deep for Washington will be Trimble and David Toa. Twenty-four yard touchdown pass. Low kick. It's going to take a bounce. Huskies have a chance to pick it up. And they will run it back. Trumbull with the ball out to the 23, and Washington will put it in play there. 18-yard return for Trumbull. 6.07 to play here in the second quarter. Cougars of Washington State on the scoreboard again. Lead it 14 to 3. One thing I'll say about the Cougar fans, they're over in the sort of sunny side of this end zone here today, in the west end of the end zone. Temperature in the mid-60s. Breeze kicking up again. Huskies trying to get something going. Chandler, so far in the ball game has had some problems. One good drive for Washington. Franklin split out wide to uh, the right and Mo Hill to the left. Quick pass to Hill. Tries to break the tackle. He gets the ball to the 38 or uh, make it the 28 yard line. So it's going to be second and five for Washington. Six plays, 80 yards, 209 off the clock for Washington State. Boy, they look very, very impressive on that drive. They sure did. They're mixing it up with the run and the pass and just keeping the Husky defense off balance. Second and five for Washington. Tony Covington across the 32 to 31. Short of the first down by a couple of yards. So Washington will now face a third and eight as they trail it 14 to three. Artie Holmes. Strong safety in on the play for Washington State. 5-14 to play here in the first half between the Huskies and the Cougars. Cougars won it last year, 38-29 in Pullman. Franklin split out wide to the left. Third and two. Long count. Chandler back to throw. Rush throws into a crowd. The Moe Hill makes the catch for the first down and he is stopped at the 39 yard line first down for Washington at their own 39 good catch by Mo Hill this is a good play by Chandler because again he gets good right to the right of your screen there you see Eric Howard did a good job on Burnham had good pressure on Chandler and he escaped the rush and threw it in there to uh, Mo Hill for the first down they've got to do a little bit better job on Howard Tim Paddock also went on the rush for Washington State only two setbacks now and two wide receivers put out for Washington Weathersby and Covington. Huskies first and ten. Draw. Covington. He picks up eight. Second and two for Washington at their own 48. Murray Metcalf and Artie Holmes in on the play for Washington State making the stop. Chandler five of six for 40 yards so far in the ball game. Through the air. Two yards to go for Husky 48. David Toy in a ball game now. Huskies go back to that full house backfield. They bring Toy in along with Weathers Weathersby and Covington. And off straight ahead. Covington across midfield will get the first down into Washington State territory at their own 38. It's beginning to warm up just a little bit, isn't it? I don't know, Bruce. My feet are still pretty numb. <laughs> Beasley and Nick Bolk in on the play for the Cougars. That last play host of people in the middle, but Covington sort of carried him with him against the blocking of Egan, Zandusky, and Tim Burnham. Huskies have it first and 10 now in Cougar territory at the 48. 339 to play here in the first quarter. Chandler looking to the outside. Covington with the football. Covington has the first down, breaks another tackle and out of bounds. Tony Covington takes the ball to the 33. For Vince Weathersby to the 33, number 22. Zandusky made an excellent block on the play. This is a quick screen out here to the left to Weathersby. And he's got big number 75, 
Mike Sandusky out in front, blocking on the defensive backs. We pick up a good gain. Huskies pick up a good gain. Vince Weathersby, number 22, 5'11", 192 pounds, out of Los Angeles, Dorsey High School. The ball at the 33, the Washington State 33. Over the head of the intended receiver, and that was Mo Hill, and really there was nothing there, double coverage. By 16 and 27, Terulia and Cedric Brown. Second and 10 for the Huskies now, with 3.01 to play here in the second quarter. 14 to 3 in favor of Washington State. The Cougars scoring on a couple of pass plays, one in the first quarter and the other in the second quarter. Second and 10 now for the Huskies. Ball loose and recovered by the Huskies, and I think the Chandler fell on Chandler and Egan having their problems on the snap that time. So they lose a yard on the play. Third and 11 now for the Huskies, and what a quick way to get out of a drive. That kind of thing just kills an offensive team. It kills an offensive drive. It's so elemental, elementary. You ought to, you ought to get it going every time. Darrell Franklin, number seven, split out wide to the left. Mo Hill to the right. Third and 11. Franklin in motion. Right coach. Big rush. Turn the look and throwing on the move. Caught out of bounds and incomplete. Bring up a fourth down. Dean Terulia putting on the rush and bring a good play for Washington State. He's the man who forced Chandler to throw the football with 2.18 to play here in the second quarter. So the Huskies facing a fourth down will have to give up the ball again. They trail it 14 Jeff to 3. Jager Jeff Jager, however, comes in. He's going to try a 51-yard field goal. He's got the wind at his back. Chandler will hold. And the Huskies decide to call timeout. They had 12 seconds left on the clock, and Chandler looks up there, and, and uh, the rest of the linemen look at the clock and say, wait a minute, we'll never get this thing off. So they call a timeout, and Jager runs to the sideline. 2.18 to play here in the second quarter. The Apple Cup game from Husky Stadium. It is Washington State 14 and Washington 3. Attention Puget Sound. Don't buy a car, new or used, until you see this one. The 1986 Mazda GLC wagon. At just $53.95, it's the lowest priced wagon in America. But please be warned, these wagons will go fast. Supplies are strictly limited, and your Mazda dealer is dealing. So you can beat $53.95 by hundreds. So hurry to your Puget Sound Mazda dealers now, because once they're gone, they're gone. first day in business, we began with a momentum of 100 years' experience. With the heritage of three Bell Telephone companies serving 14 states and over 9 million customers. U.S. West Information Systems. Nobody knows the trails better. We welcome you back to Husky Stadium. Jeff Jagger will put it down and try to kick it at the 41. It'll be a 51-yard field goal, longest attempt this year from 51 yards. He has kicked 19 straight up to this point. Chandler Hole, kick is in the air. Low kick and short and no good. Wide right. So the Cougars hold and they will take over. First and 10 at the 34. Washington State leading 14 to 3 and they have dominated play so far a couple of good drives one excellent 80 yard drive just a moment ago now can the Husky defense dig in and hold that Cougar offense no question about it that uh, Washington State can move the football Reuben May just straight ahead, carry some people with him. Got a line of Washington State playing very well right now, too. Picks up only three. Reggie Rogers, Andy Fuimaono went on the play for the Huskies. Second and seven. The ball at the 37-yard line of Washington State. Jeff 
Jim Matthews back in the ball game of nose guard for the Huskies. Second and seven. Great right ahead, and that's Junior. Junior T. Cal Kalalatasi. He picks up 15, picks up the first down. Timeout called for Washington State with 1.30 to play here in the first half, and they get another drive going. To Talatasi, junior to Talatasi out of Alameda, California, averaging over six yards a carry. Now you see the clock, 1.30 to go, 14 to 3. Washington State lead the last time the Cougars came over to play the Huskies in that driving rainstorm a couple of years ago. Knocked the Huskies out of the Rose Bowl then with an impressive 17 to 6 win. Huskies had to come from behind in Pullman last year to win. The Huskies and the Cougars 2 and 2 over the last four years, and Washington State has won two out of the last three. It has become one of the most interesting battles in the country, I think, and a lot of people sort of forget about it. They think of the old days when Washington maybe dominated play against Washington State, but no more. And the Huskies just seem to really struggle against the uh, the Washington State offense. They have a terrible time trying to stop them. I think, Bruce, in, in, in 82 and 83, when the, when the Huskies had a chance to go to the Rose Bowl and the Cougars knocked them off both times, I think this really brought this, this game alive nationally. First and 10. Ball right at midfield. Throw to the outside, low. Incomplete. Both these juniors to Talatasi on the outside. Both these programs have a great deal of respect uh, throughout the country, the, the jobs that Don James and Jim Walton do. Uh, in talking to coaches throughout the United States, they both feel like they're two of the top coaches in the country. Mark Griffin now, four of eight through the air for 99 yards and two touchdowns. Second and 10, the ball right at midfield. 127 to play here in the first half from a cold Husky Stadium in Seattle. That's Ruben Mays. Ruben Mays, the ball picks up three on the play. They'll move the ball into Washington territory at the Husky 47. So now they'll face third and seven. Clock continues to run. David Rill making the stop along with Andy Fuima Ono for Washington. Mays, 14 carries for 92 yards so far in the ball game. Breeze picks up a little bit more here. Third and seven. Reggie Roger makes the hit at the line, but just a great, great fake on the outside. Oh, what a fake by Mark Rippon. He makes a tremendous fake and picks up the first down. That was something, wasn't it? Oh, that was a great fake again by Rippon, and he really runs this option well. You know, he, he's, he's, he's a heck of an athlete. He can, he's got a great arm. He's got good feet, can run the ball, and uh, tremendous job right there on third down. Look at Rippin. the size of that guy. He can run. 6'4", 225. He's as big as some linebackers. Bigger than a lot of linebackers. 51 seconds to go here in the first half. Cougars trying to get something on the scoreboard again. Ripping over talking to the bench. is going to come back and talk again. 14 to 3. Washington State leading in this football game. Might have a little, been a little bit of a mix up there with the Husky defense. I'm not sure, Bruce, but uh, I know that Don James and the Husky coaches have got that whole Husky defense over at the sideline right now talking to them. You've got to have your responsibilities down really well against that option. Somebody's got to re be responsible for the dive, and somebody else has got to pick up the quarterback if he keeps it, then you've got to have somebody responsible for the pitch man. And on that last play, there was just nobody on uh, ripping. Washington State 14, Washington 3, 51 seconds to play in a cold Husky Stadium. The place was sold out, but it's, it's a pretty good crowd here. But a number of people stayed home, and I don't blame them. Hey, I don't either. <laughs> I would have to do it. First and 10 now for Washington State. The ball at the Washington 36. Go to the outside. Intercepted by Washington. Huskies have the football. And that is Alan James from a strong safety position. Picks off the pass. Was in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. Get a chance to see it again. I think it was intended for Michael James, number 88. Just a quick pass. And that was 81. 81. Mill Orchard. He tipped it. And Alan James was in the right place at the right time and came up with a key interception. So the Huskies stopped that drive, and it's the first turnover by Washington State in the ballgame. And 
Here's a Washington State team that just killed themselves with turnovers. That's 12 pass interceptions for Rippon this year. Chandler back to throw, throws over the middle. That's intended for Rod Jones behind him. Big tight end had his problems trying to hang on to the football. Bruce, I can't say enough about the job that Eric Howard is doing, number 73, the defensive tackle. He has been in Chandler's face all day, and he was again on that play. Interestingly enough, early in the season, about the fourth game, they switched Cleveland and Howard. They switched their positions. They moved Howard inside, and, and boy, he has just played very, very well. That's 73, Eric Howard. Second and 10 for Washington. Draw. Covington picks up the first down up to the 44 yard line. 36 seconds to play here in the first half. Huskies try to quickly get up to the ball. They can get this play over. Now you have a chance well, this right is now. What you try to do to a guy like Howard when he's putting pressure on you is run the draw, slow his pass rush down a little bit, and that's what happened on that last play. Chandler throws outside, complete to Covington and out of bounds. He gets the ball. I Weathersby rather. Vince Weathersby gets the ball out of bounds at uh, the 49-yard line, the Washington State 49. Ricky Reynolds was the man who ran him out of bounds. 28 seconds to play here in the first quarter. How it's, or say, first half, I should say, how it's changed. Cougars on a drive. Huskies pick off a pass. Chandler 7-11 for 63 yards now. Chandler to throw again. Pretty good blocking this time. Goes. Rob Jones wide open. Jones to the 30. The Washington State 30. 20 seconds to play here in the first half. Kevin Thomason tripped him up at the 30-yard line. Timeout call by Washington. Rod Jones making the catch over the middle, and he was just wide open. It looked like Artie Holmes, the strong safety, who might have been covering him, and he was close to Jones at the time of the catch, might have slipped a little bit. But the key there, Bruce, was they gave Chandler some time to throw. Twenty seconds to play here in the second quarter. Fourteen to three in favor of Washington State. Cougars working on a player right now, shaking up on the play. Cedric Brown, one of the co-captains, plays the right corner for the Cougars. Here's a look at that last play, Chandler. Now. Get the chance to throw the ball. Yeah, time to throw. He's got time. There's nobody in his face. There was nobody around him right there, and he was able to find find Jones. You know, it gives the receivers a little bit of time to get open too, and that's what happened there. Brown hit him low and uh, comes to the sideline, so he will be replaced in that secondary. It's a lot easier to complete those passes when you don't have some guy bearing down on you and his big hands in your face and. You're backpedaling, and, and that time Chandler was able to, to drop back and set his feet and, and throw the ball and find Jones open. They always say the best pass defense is the pass rush. Blow on those hands right now. Try to warm them up just a little bit. Back to throw again. Complete this to Vince Weatherford. And it's going to be short of the first down by a yard as he takes the ball to the 21. Huskies again called timeout. Ron Collins, Dean Terulia in on the stop for Washington State. You see only 11 seconds to go, 14 to 3 in favor of Washington State. Husky fans haven't had much to cheer about here in this football game. Huskies putting together really only the second good drive of the ball game for them. And this right would now. be so important if they could get, get into the end zone here. It, it, it means so much to go in at halftime just having been successful, you know, and it would get them back in the game and, and, and create a little bit of a momentum shift because I'll tell you, this first half has been all Cougars. No question about it. They've really looked impressive, both offensively and defensively. Look across that defensive line. 73 is Eric Howard. 67 is Rob Cleveland. Pettick is number 99. I'm impressed with this Cougar defense. They've done an excellent job against the run today and put tremendous pressure on Chandler uh, when he's dropped back to throw the football. The only time he's had a great deal of success is when he's been able to, to, to sprint out one way or the other. And even then, he's uh, most of the time at that point run for the first down. 11 seconds to play here in the second quarter. I think the temperature is dropping. I hope not. Huskies face second and one. 
They're out of timeouts. Question now, can they get in the scoreboard? David Trimble in motion to the right. Chandler to throw. Look deep. Throws toward the corner of the end zone. Out of the back side of the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Mo Hill. Covered well by Washington State. They had four players back there. Yeah, they did a great job there. Pretty good pressure again, although Chandler did have, you know, he wasn't bothered that much or hurried that much, but they had excellent, uh, excellent coverage. So Jeff Jagger will attempt a field goal. He missed a 51-yarder just a few minutes ago. This time the ball is going to be set up on uh, the 28-yard line. It'll be a 38-yard field goal. Hash mark on the left side. Jagger had a string of 19 straight stops. Kick is up. This one up and it is good. Two seconds to play in the first half. Huskies get on the scoreboard with another field goal. 14 to 6 now in favor of Washington State. But the Cougars have scored a couple of touchdowns and the Huskies have been unable to get into the end zone. The, so Hus the Huskies have moved the ball pretty well on the Cougars, but always, you know, something has always happened as they've gotten down close to the uh, to the end zone and they've just haven't been able to put it in for a touchdown they have gotten a couple field goals but both teams have moved the ball pretty well against the others the only difference is the Cougars have got in twice for touchdowns and the Huskies have had to settle for a couple of field goals Jeff Jagger will kick it off for Washington he does a Kent Washington adds three more points he's got six in the game he's only six now six points away from being the all-time Washington score and he's only a junior. He will break Chuck Nelson's record. Two men back for Washington State on the play. Here's the kick. Low driving kick will be downed at the 20-yard line and time will run out in the first half. So at halftime, Washington State leads Washington by a score of 14 to 6 on a frozen field here in Seattle in the 78th annual Apple Cup game and on the sideline here's Harry Sloan Harry I'm with uh, Cougar coach Jim Wall and Jimmy you dominated on both sides of the ball so far in the first half the offense really clicking those two strikes in the air really doing you some good well we made a little mistake right here for the half and gave up three points which I'm sorry about we just dumped the ball off they gave us a read we really didn't want one of those times where you overcoach yourself but they left the tight end uncovered we bounced it off his hand and they did a good job getting back we just got to stay with what we're doing well, I tell you, the defense is playing a heck of a ball game. The Huskies having two sustained drives, and yet they come away with about six points. Well, if we keep trading them seven for three, I'll be the happiest guy in town. Reuben Mays, uh, what can you say about him? They're giving him the holes, but boy, once he gets out in the open, he's uh, a load. Well, with this kind of footing, I think he's just showing everything. Everybody knows he's a great football player, and he's just showing he's just exactly that. As far as the conditions are concerned, have they made any difference in this game? Oh, they've made a lot of difference in terms of some of the stuff we're doing laterally, but uh, so far, if we just stay with what we're doing, maybe won't. we can't blame that. It's slipping on both sides. I'd say you should have a smile on your face going into that locker room. Well, I'd be, I'd be happier if this was it. Uh, I've got a 30 long minutes yet. All right, good luck the you bet. Cougar coach Jim Walden, and uh, we'll talk with Don James when he comes out to start the second half. In the meantime, Bruce, let's toss it back up to you. So the score, Washington State 14 and Washington 6, and we'll have more from Husky Stadium right after this. One reason that Mountain Fresh Rainier has survived since 1878 is because... Harry Sloan is right now with Don James. You well, down there, Harry? I'm sure you had a lot to say at halftime, Don. Your team not very performing very well in the first half. Well, offensively, we were just fine. I think we can move the ball. It's uh, defense where we're having our problems. What, what is giving you a problem? Just reading the option? Well, it's the dive. We're not stopping. And we're, they're hitting us on the weak side. Uh, they, just, they did a pretty good number on us on that one drive. And correcting it is just a matter of execution? Well, we've got to do some things with some uh, front movement, and we've also got to play better. And also, you've got to start trading threes for sevens. I mean, it just doesn't work. Well, uh, we're, we're fortunate to get a three on there, and we needed that. Okay. i got to run. Good yeah. luck. Thank you very much, Don James. As we start the second half here, Bruce, let's toss it back up to you. Harry, thank you very much. Don James, I'm sure, had some words for his football team at halftime to get them going here in the second half. We start the third quarter. And it's 14 to 6 in favor of Washington State. The Cougars meeting with Jim Walden on the sideline. Jimmy Walden looking for his third win in this series. He's 2 and 5 against Washington. Don James 8 and 2. And he's got a lead right now. The Huskies will receive. They will defend the gold to our left, which is the closed end of Husky Stadium. We're mentioning that Washington and Washington State 
you know, the way they have played this year. And if you look at Washington State's schedule and you look at the teams they have played, I mean, they lose to UCLA 31 to 30 in a ball game that a lot of people felt that they should have won. They lose to Arizona State 21 to 16. Uh, they lose to USC. Now, that's a game that, uh, surprisingly, they lost 31-13, but they let it get away from them. But they've played very well, you know, and they have uh, stopped a lot, of a, a lot of teams and are a good football team despite the fact they're 3-7. and seven. So Trout will kick it off. Back deep for Washington, David Toy and David Trimble, and they will stand back on about, uh, oh, the 12-15 yard line. They don't expect Trout to kick it very far. It's interesting. They all line up there waiting for an onside kick because the Cougars will do this sometimes, and then they'll all drop back right away. So Trout is ready. We're ready to start the third quarter. Cougars on top, 14 to six. Huskies get the football for the first time here in the second half. David Trimble, yard deep, is gonna run it out. Delays just a second. David Toy breaks the tackle, breaks another tackle, and David Toy takes it to the 35. Toy, the sophomore from Mountain Home, Idaho, takes the ball out to the 35 and returns it 36 yards. So the Huskies with good field position. Husky fans on their feet. Husky Rooters have been here for a while. They came in about 11.30. It's getting cloudy, or I should say, they're uh, in the shade over there on the far side of the field. Huskies will stop to start that same backfield. Full house backfield, Chris Chandler. That's Tor in motion, number 34. The bottom of your screen. The throw. Flip it to the outside. In and out of the hands and finally dropped by Vince Chris Weathersby. Chandler. Second and ten for Washington. That was the screen that they threw out to Weathersby for a pretty successful play in the first half. They they opened up the second half with it, and it was thrown a little bit high. Vince had a tough time hanging on to it. Full house backfield again. Tor, Weathersby, and Covington for Washington. One wide receiver split out wide to the left. Second and ten. Ball at the Washington 35. Pitch to the outside. Weathersby. Weathersby will pick up about eight on the play. Good block by David Toy leading the way, number 34. Second or third and two for Washington now. This is the option out of the uh, full house. A, a good fake there to Covington. Chandler comes down the line. Good block by Toy on number 20, then he comes off the block and gets in on the play. Good block, though, by David Torr. Huskies have the ball now at the 43, their own 43. Chandler keeping, still looking to try to pitch it. Chris Chandler keeping. Driven backward. And he's going to be short of the first down marker by about a yard. It's going to bring up fourth down for Washington. There's where the turf comes into play, Bruce. He was going to fake a handoff or either give it to Covington from the fullback spot. Covington slipped on the slippery turf, and Chandler had no, nothing to do with the ball except try to get what he could with it. Ben Carrillo led the charge for Washington State. So the Huskies, they looked at it for a moment, thought about it, but then decided to kick it away. Thane Clalen in to kick. Kittrick Taylor standing deep, back of the 18. High floating kick. And a fair catch called for by one player, and Kittrick Taylor runs into him. So Washington State, a little mix-up back there, but they hang on to the football, and Washington State will take over with 12-21 to play here in the third quarter, and leading 14-6. McDonald's new McDLT. It could be the best tasting lettuce and tomato hamburger ever. You get a hot side hot. You get a cool side cool. New McD, LT. And the hot stays, and the cool stays. New McD, LT. New McD, LT. Come on in and try McDonald's new McD, LT for the everyday low price of just $1.49. We think you'll agree McD, LT could be the best hamburger value ever. It's time to start dreaming anew about the all-new 1986 Cadillac Eldorado. Smaller outside, over 350 pounds lighter, sleek and aerodynamic, with a new, amazingly economical transverse-mounted V8 and front-wheel drive. Experience the Eldorado dream at your Seattle-Tacoma Cadillac dream dealer. George Plattis in Bellevue, Alderwood in Linwood, Frederick in Seattle, Osborne McCann in Tacoma. 
Husky Rally Squad trying to generate some crowd noise here in the snow a Husky Stadium as their football team trails at 14 to 6. Cougars have it first and 10 at their own 26. Hand off straight ahead to Talatasi with the ball. Picks up. He gets the five yards, takes the ball to the 31. David Arrill, the first man to hit him. The Brief changes come in now for Washington State. Kittrick Taylor comes back in the ballgame, as you see. Rick Chase is in there. Bo Yates, number 31. Huskies change Hadley going to the top of your screen. Jim Matthews now in a nose guard for Washington. Second and five, and the ball at the 31. Out to the 35 and short of the first down is Reuben Mays. David Rill made the stop. So it's now going to bring up third and about a yard for Washington State. So the Cougars trying to keep this drive alive. Make some changes now. Victor Wood in the ball game. 12 19 to play. Third quarter. Cougars lead it. 14 to 6. You're looking at third and one. Dive. Pitch to the outside. Good for the first down. Still in his feet. Ruben Mays loses the football. Recovered by Washington. Ron Miles recovers for the Huskies. The first fumble of the ball game for Washington State. We talked about that at halftime and talked about breaks. Well, you know, this here Griffin comes down the line with the option here, and Bo, Griffin does a great job here because Bo Yates, you're going to see number three. Well, you don't see it there, but Bo Yates grabbed a hold of him, and Griffin threw it out to, to Mays, and then Mays picked up a pretty good gain and then fumbled the football. Straight ahead, that's Tony Covington for Washington, takes the ball to the 40. He picks up four on the play. Second and six at the Washington State 40. I'm surprised that there haven't been more turnovers in this ball game. It's a credit to both teams that there haven't been, but that was a big one there uh, in, in, in good field position for the Huskies. Tough turnover for the Cougars. Covington, 19 carries for 73 yards in the ball game. Second and five for Washington, a long five. Vince Weathersby, Weathersby trying to break tackles at the 32 and gets the first down. Kevin Thomason was the man that finally wrestled him to the ground for the Cougars. Husky fans alive, and the flags come out here at Husky Stadium. This is a little belly play where he fakes the ball there to Covington and then gives it to the second back through, number 22, Weathersby. Good block by David Toy, the lead back from the right side. Toy, Weathersby, and Covington in the backfield. Weathersby, Covington. Number 39, straight ahead. I'm kind of impressed, Bruce, with David Toy's blocking. You know, he's uh, he's not, well, he is pretty good size, 6'1 and a half, 210. But uh, you don't think of uh, tailback type guys as being good blockers. And he's doing an excellent job of blocking out of this full house backfield. Second and five for Washington now. The ball on the 27, the Washington State 27. Wide receiver comes into the game. That's Daryl Franklin. Mo Hill is also there. Toy goes out. Second and five, and Chandler to throw. Time to throw. Almost intercepted. Ooh, that ball was almost picked off by Artie Holmes, the strong safety, and he'd have been gone. Intended for Daryl Franklin. Boy, he'd have been gone. Yeah, he would have. There was a lot of green here. Uh, you, you, you can't see it in your screen, but Artie Holmes is going to be the defender here. Pretty good pressure again by Howard. Made. Uh, Chandler have to move, but but Holmes tips it there, and it was intended for Covington. Had uh, he have caught that ball, he'd have run about 80 yards for a touchdown because there was nobody between him and the Husky goal line. Third and five at the 27 for the Huskies. Franklin in motion, top of your screen. Chandler under pressure. There's Howard a road. Intercepted by Washington State. Ricky Reynolds picks it up. By Ricky Reynolds on the Cougar 9. That pass intended for Mo Hill and maybe shouldn't have thrown it. 
Well, again, he had he had pressure, right? You know, somebody right in his face. Again, you take a look at it here on your screen. But watch number 73 right in the middle of your screen, just just driving up through the middle of the line right there, fighting like crazy to get to the quarterback. And uh, Chandler throws it, and, and Ricky Reynolds picks it off. He had Daryl Franklin deep and Mohill running in front of him. So now first and ten for Washington State. Ball back at the nine. Junior T straight ahead and he gets nothing. Husky defense right there. Everybody in the middle of the line. You can see Joe Kelly was there. Reggie Rogers. Ron Hadley also in on the play. Huskies defensively across the line. Look at that Husky defense right now. 60,197 tickets sold. 49,302 here. 49,302 brave souls to be here. Second and ten. Forward progress. Back to the line of scrimmage. Outside. Complete. Breaks the tuck. Tim Peoples finally makes the stop on Michael James. We got a penalty. I don't know what it is yet, but flags down. Flags down back at the 12. Let's see what the call is right now. Look at receiver downfield. It's going to cost him a down as well. Yes, it is. Interesting. Ball comes now back to the 10 yard line and they will take it halfway to the goal line back to the five so now it's third and 15 for the Cougars shotgun no quick kick quick kick formation ball will bounce at midfield Milas will let it go, and it was going to finally be down. A great quick kick, a 60 yard. <laughs> you don't see that. The ball well. runs, goes clear down to uh, the 38. Excellent call. So 9:21 to play in the third quarter. Washington State 14, the Husky six. Hi, I'm Dick Enberg for GTE. You know, telecommunications and football have a lot in common. They both involve things like good connections, conference calls, and data communications. And for their communications, more and more NFL teams rely on GTE. Teams like the Dallas Cowboys, Tampa Bay Bucks, Indianapolis Colts, and Seattle Seahawks. For your quality communications, talk to the telecommunications consultant at Super Bowl XX. Talk to GTE. We respond. I love your new house. Mm, and your arrowless. Thank you for the Aramis umbrella. It turned out to be the perfect housewarming gift. <laughs> oh, I think it stopped raining. Good. At last I can take you outside and show you the terrace. The Aramis Executive Umbrella. Your gift with any $10 purchase of Aramis, Devon, Aramis 900, or JHL. Available right now at the men's bar at the Bond. Mark Rippon. 56 yards officially on a quick kick. And the Huskies will take over now. First and 10 at their own. 39. David Toy in motion. Bottom of the screen. Cougars lead at 14 to 6. Chandler almost slips. Hit as he throws. It is complete to the outside to the tight end Rod Jones. And Jones out of bounds after picking up 13 yards. Jeff Loomis ran him out of bounds. Just take a look at the right, uh, right of your screen now, right up the middle. Watch Eric Howard bearing down on Chandler. Right there, hits him just as he throws. Remarkable throw by Chandler under the circumstances he hit Jones. Knocked out of bounds by Loomis. Rod Jones from Richmond, California. Picks up the first down. Tony Covington diving over the left side. Gets the ball to the 45. Picks up a couple on the play. Second and eight for Washington now. 9-0-1 to play with a player down for the Huskies. And it could be, boy, Jones. it's hard to say. Rod Jones. Is it Rod Jones? Yeah. Rod Jones has been bothered by that knee. You know, he hurt the knee a couple of years ago, broke the leg, in fact, a couple of years ago. Then the knee's been bothering him. And so Rod Jones is down. 
Covington, 16 carries so far, 80 yards in the ball game. Don James obviously concerned if his big tight end has to come out. Rod Jones, three catches for 38 yards and a first down. Scott Booz, number 86, comes in to replace Rod Jones. The Cougar band, you have to be happy. You're leading 14 to 6 in a football game. Feel right at home with that snow. I can remember over at uh, Spokane not too many years ago in a football game played there when Joe Steele Joe Steel set a Husky rushing record and uh, over 1,000 yards. <laughs> it was played. There are conditions similar to this. It was very, very cold, snow around the field and so forth. I remember that, Bruce. I was there. In fact, uh, Here's a look at that play that uh, Rod Jones was injured on. Egan number 57, the handoff. Now here is Covington. There he is right there at the top of your screen, blocking, doing a good job blocking. It looks like maybe Covington might have fallen on his leg right there. Yeah, he was blocking Murray Metcalf on the left side. I think it's just something to his lower leg there. I don't think it's a knee, which is always good news. As yeah. you see him walking off there, they've got to look like a wrap around the lower leg. We got Harry in the sideline. Harry? It seems to be his uh, right calf. They were massaging it pretty heavily. A number of these players during halftime changed to tennis shoes, seemingly to get better traction, and they are doing that as they come to the line of scrimmage. Bruce, back to you. Second and eight for Washington. The ball at the 45. The Washington State 45. Weathersby over the left side. Not much there. Going to pick up only a couple of yards on the play. Take the ball to the 43-yard line. It's going to bring up third down for Washington, third and five at the 43. Cougars had a lot of people in on the play, including Rob Cleveland. Eight twenty to play here in the third quarter. Washington State leading 14 to six. Cold, cold day here in Seattle. Temperature in the 20s. Third and five for the Huskies. rush again complete Covington loses or I should say Weathersby loses the ball out of bounds but it's good for the first down to rule you ran him out of bounds for Washington State good throw and a great catch yes yeah, Vince Weathersby yeah, you know here, here Washington State's in some kind of a man coverage because they've got an outside linebacker Dean to covering Weathersby you know and that's tough to do six catches 61 yards in a ball game for Weathersby so far. First and ten. Chandler keeps. Oh, it's 6'4. He just dives straight ahead and picks up uh, about seven on the play. Murray Metcalf finally wrestles him to the turf as he gets the ball inside the 30 to the 27 yard line. Well, Hussey's got a little drive going here. Bruce, let's see if they can't get in the end zone. 7.33 to play, third quarter. Second, the short four for Washington. Rod Jones back in the ball game. The tight end. Covington oh. in a big hole. To the 16 and another Washington first down. Artie Holmes in the strong safety position makes the stop. Good blocking here by uh, number 72, Kevin Gogan, and number 78, Tim Burnham, to, to, to open up the hole there for Covington. Huskies stay with that full house backfield, as you'll see. Weathersby 22, Covington 39, and David Toy 34. First and 10 for Washington. Last man through. Ooh, Russell to the turf, and Eric Howard makes a play. This guy, Eric Howard, is all world today. They say coming into this game that he really is an outstanding football player. Here's Harry Sloan on the sideline. Boy, a vicious tackle on that game. Rod Jones, as you said, Bruce, back in the game. He just sustained a kick to the back of that right calf. He's okay, and he's in there now. Back up to you. Second and 10 for Washington. The ball at the Washington State 17. Cougars five men up on that line of scrimmage. Pitch to... Weathersby, his feet go out from under him as he loses or maybe picks up a yard on the play. Very close to the line of scrimmage. Tim Pettick right there for Washington State from the right defensive tackle position. Number 99, no gain on the play. 
third and ten. Every time the Huskies have moved the ball down inside that 20, it all comes to a halt. Cougar defense really digs in. It's tough to score down there, and, and it's a little easier to play defense down there because you don't have as much room to have to defend, but uh, it's important you get in the end zone when you get down here. David Trimble in the ball game now. Toy goes out. Chandler to throw over the middle. No hill. It's a two. First down, Washington. yards and a first down for the Huskies. Ricky Reynolds finally got him along with Brian Ford. It's just a great throw by uh, Chandler and a great catch by Mo Hill. It just seems like Mo Hill always comes up with a big play when you need it right there. Lonzel Mo Hill, son of J.D. Hill from All-American Arizona State. 5.22 to go. First and goal for Washington. The ball is to two. Handoff right side. Touchdown Washington. Kevin Gogan leading the way for the Huskies as they get on the scoreboard with 5.17 to play here in the third quarter. Tony Covington takes it in. Huskies score. It is now 14 to 12. What do you do? You go for two to tie it right now? Or they go for one? Huskies huddling now back on the 10-yard line. And they will go for two. Two wide receivers in. Split wide to the left. That's Franklin and Trumbull. Rod Jones moving now over to the right side. Covington moves back a step. Hand off to Covington. Straight ahead. Does he get in? Yes. Covington just carries Brian Ford with him into the end zone. Great, great second effort on Covington's part. It is tied 14-14. 5-17 to play here in the third quarter. Washington 14, Washington State 14. Attention Puget Sound. Don't buy a car, new or used, until you see this one. The 1986 Mazda GLC wagon. At just $53.95, it's the lowest priced wagon in America. But please be warned, these wagons will go fast. Supplies are strictly limited, and your Mazda dealer is dealing. So you can beat $53.95 by hundreds. So hurry to your Puget Sound Mazda dealers now, because once they're gone, they're gone. Here in a counter bar. They're awful quiet for a reunion. They're hungry. What's holding up the pizza? Wilmer went to fetch it. It's been gone a good hour. I can tell time, Blake. How do you know? How else? Route 4 to 12, 12 It's getting harder and harder to find a really great tasting pizza. Godfather's Pizza. Find one. It's worth it. The toll way, the toll way to cut off 6th in North Down 4th Street. Off is one way south. Force one way north. Off is one way south. What's holding up the pizza? Hold on, I'll try to analogize it one more. The Huskies tie it at 14-14 with 5-17 to play in the third quarter. Chris Chandler engineering the drive. He's now 12 of 20 for 129 yards in the ball game. Huskies to kick it off to the Cougars, and it all started with a Cougar turnover. Their first fumble to the ball game. This crowd now alive. Husky fans were on their feet. Short kick. Cougars will get a chance to run this back. Ball bounces. Still loose. Oh, good defensive play. A Gaffney for Washington. Mike Gaffney of Washington making an outstanding defensive play for the Huskies. On Chappelle of Washington State. The ball down. Back at the seven-yard line. Here's the touchdown again. Keep an eye on number 39. Tony Covington. He just fights his way in. Yeah, great blocks by Tim Burnham, 78, Kevin Gogan, number 72, and by David Toy, number 34. The momentum now has switched toward Washington. Back to throw to the outside. It is complete. Kittrick Taylor knocked out of bounds, but he picks up the first down after picking up 14 yards on the play. Bestie Jackson defending on the play, and he's going over to the bench to talk to the coaches for just a moment. Kittrick Taylor wide open on the play, and he picks up 14. First and 10 for the Cougars on 
Ball at the 21. Taylor, three catches, 48 yards. Pitch to the outside. That's the chase. Tim People makes the play. And that's good for six yards. Second and four now at the 27. 446 to play here in the third quarter. Washington 14, Washington State 14. Go over the middle, in and out of the hands of number 88, Michael James. 89, Chris Layton, the tight end. Layton was wide open there, and uh, Rippin put her right in there, but Layton couldn't hang on. Hands might be a little bit cold. I can imagine they would be just a little bit cold. It's right hard, and I got gloves on. <laughs> Third and four so far in the ball game. Rippin, six of 12, 120 yards. Straight ahead. Rippin is going to be hit short of the first down, as you saw. Again, he fakes inside. Boy, I'll tell you, he plays that drive. Yeah, that's that a great job. Well, I, I thought he handed off that time. That's about three times the ball game. I swore they yeah, handed the ball inside. Too. Milas in on the play. Milas standing now back at his own 32-yard line. Hopper's going to kick it for Washington State. Huskies with eight minutes a line of scrimmage. Almost jump offside. Low kick. Going to bounce once. Milas almost loses the football and finally falls down back at the 34-yard line. Huskies will take over on their own 34. 38-yard kick with 3.53 to play here in the third quarter. And Washington 14, Washington State 14. It was all the Cougars in the first half. Huskies recover a fumble in the third quarter. They drive down the field. They score a touchdown. They stop the Cougars here. They get the ball back, and you can feel the stadium come alive if you're a Husky fan. There's no question that the momentum has shifted and that the Huskies uh, got it going their way right now. Let's see what they can do here with this guy. You look at big Tim Burnham, number 78, playing a right guard position out of Cottonwood, California. He's a senior. Toy in motion, top of the screen. Fake. Chandler throwing outside. That was intended for... Vince Weathersby, an incomplete. Double coverage out there. Ricky Reynolds covering on the play, but he just missed him. So much of the passing game is, is dependent upon timing, and, and when you get a surface like this where the guy isn't making his qu cut quite as crisply as he normally does, it, it messes up the timing just a little bit. Looks like that's what happened there. Weathersby, interestingly enough, coming into the game, was the second leading receiver for Washington. Full house backfield, second and ten. Cougar. A lot of people at the line of scrimmage. Chandler pitch to the outside, and Weathersby goes down. Boy, it's getting a little tough to run out there. You see, Weathersby's wearing tennis shoes now. And David Toy is wearing regular football shoes that you'd wear on AstroTurf. They've been changing shoes back and forth. And we've had a couple of people slip here. Daryl Franklin comes into the ballgame for Washington, and David Toy goes out. It is now third and 11 the ball at the Washington 33. Big third down. Long count. Chandler looking to the outside. Complete to Franklin and he's out of bounds under the Washington bench but he's going to be about four yards short of the first down. Cedric Brown was the man who ran him out of bounds. Three-year letterman for Washington State playing the right corner. Brings up fourth down, and the Huskies will have to kick it away. Thane Cleland, two-year letterman out of Lake Oswego in the kick for Washington, number nine. So it is fourth and long four, almost five. Kedrick Taylor is deep for Washington State, standing back on his own 25. High, short kick. Fair catch called for, but now it bounces and takes a Washington bounce. And it's finally going to roll dead and be touched at uh, the 31-yard line. So Washington State, they'll make it to 32 now, and they'll put it in play at their own 32 with 2.50 to play here in the third quarter, and the score tied 
Huskies trail 14 to 3 at halftime. They kick a field goal to 14 to 6 at halftime. They kick the field goal just at the end of the first half to get the six points up there. Then they score a touchdown, go for two, and tie it 14 14. Mark Rippon looking at that Husky defense. Straight ahead to Reuben Mays. That's a play that picked up a lot of yards in that first half. They begin to shut it down a little bit as he picks up four. Reggie Rogers in on the play for the Huskies. Across that defensive line, David Rill, number 38, is there. Joe Kelly, number 36. Reuben Mays, 17 carries, 110 yards in the ballgame so far. He got 1,060 coming into the ballgame. Second and six for Washington State. Ball at their own 36. Handoff. Nothing there. Good defensive play by Andy Fui Maono of Washington. So the Huskies make the stop on Reuben Mays. And going to the sideline is Steve Albert, the nose guard. He has had problems all year. Injury problems. Big kid out of Bellingham. 6'4", 266. See him going to the bench, number 93. They bring Jimmy Matthews back in. He is a senior out of Ventura, California. Two wide receivers put out wide to the left, slot back to the left. Third and six. Mark Ripley looking. Bounces. Incomplete. So Washington now will have a chance to get the football back as the Cougars will have to punt it away. Turns into a defensive struggle. Harper now to kick it away. Ripon over there talking to uh, the coaches on the sideline. Ronnie Miles going deep for Washington. 133 to play here in the third quarter. Washington against Washington State, and it couldn't be any closer. It is all tied at 14-14. Milas stands back his own 25 Huskies now nine men at the line of scrimmage here they come they get close high high short kick takes a bounce Milas picks it up and finally run out of bounds bounce right into the hands of Ron Milas at the 39 yard line but he's knocked out of bounds he thought he might sneak up the sideline I think then so the Huskies take over first and ten there Washington across their line sold at Zandusky, Agin, Tim Burnham, and Kevin Gogan. Chris Chandler, number 17 at quarterback. And back there in the backfield with him. Most of the days at Covington, Weathersby, and David Toy. Full house backfield again. What brings up memories of the old football? Three yards in the corner, does, doesn't it? Like the old days. Covington, the fullback, straight ahead. Here's Harry Sloan on the sideline. Steve Albert, uh, the left ankle is what's bothering him. He's up walking around right now trying to test it, but it's questionable as to whether he'll be back or not. He's trying to uh, shake it out, but his face shows a lot of pain. So in the meantime, let's get back to this nail biter. Back up to you, Bruce. Second and seven. Covington picks up three. Toy goes out of the ball game. David Trimble comes in to replace him. He's put out wide to the right. Mo Hill to the left. Throwing deep. Intended for Hill. And they run together, back it down about the 15-yard line. No flag. That was back talking to the official. Kevin Thomas in there, the free safety for Washington State. Pretty good battle for the football down there. You know, the Huskies haven't thrown deep very much today, and this is one of the few times they've done it. And they, they give it a good shot, but Kevin Thomas has got good coverage on Hill. Might have been a little bump right there with the left arm, but uh, it's tough to call those. I always say the defensive player you gotta give has him a chance. chance for the ball, you too. Bet. Gotta give him a chance. Two wide receivers put out left. Now, here is Trimble in motion on third and seven. Chandler hit just as he throws and throws high and incomplete. He might have just been throwing that one away. You know, Bruce, you talk about the full house team being uh, throwback to the old days. Really, what it's like is the wishbone. You know, you got those three backs back there. You got one split receiver. You, you're handing off that fullback, running the option. The only difference really is that the Covington is not up a little bit closer than the a normal wishbone fullback, but it's very much like the wishbone offense. Dane Cleland, the kick for Washington, trying to warm up those hands on this cold, cold day in Seattle with a score tied 14-14. Kittrick Taylor back. Good kick. High, booming kick. Taylor will take it at the 17. Breaks the tackle. Hit again and finally goes down. That Husky special team right there. That was Dan Egan, number 57, the center, who was there. Daryl Franklin, number seven as well. 
So the Cougars will put it in play now at the 16. Their own 16. 29 seconds to play, third quarter. Washington 14, Washington State 14. Rippin. One back in the backfield. That's Reuben Mays going straight ahead. He runs into a host of Huskies. Andy Fuimaono, Matthews, Reggie Rogers all there. That's Bo Yates, number three. Rogers was probably the first one to get a hand on him. 77 leading the way. Mike Dreyer, senior at a quarter lane, Idaho. The See the changes. They bring in four different players yeah. here. Yeah. The trouble with the option on a day like this when you've got a slippery turf, it's tough to run laterally, and, and you basically got to give the ball to the fullback, and both teams doing a pretty good job now defending that dive play. Junior T comes back in as time runs out here in the third quarter. So now we're down to the final 15 minutes of the Washington-Washington State game with the score, Washington 14 and Washington State 14. To the future of business communications, we bring the heritage of three Bell Telephone companies who over the last 100 years have pioneered the best telecommunications system in the world. U.S. West Information Systems. Nobody knows the trails better. Running smooth and silent, head sign, head sign. Running strong and sure, head sign, head sign. For our highest octane unleaded premium, try Exxon Extra. It quiets, knocks, and pings for smooth performance. Running smooth and easy. It's the tiger. Exxon. The Cougar Band, they're enjoying it. The Husky Band's enjoying it. It is tied 14-14. We hope you are enjoying it. The 78th annual Apple Cup game from Husky Stadium. Temperature in the 20s. We're down to the final 15 minutes. Second and eight for Washington State at their own 18. Taylor in motion, right side of the screen. Delay handoff. Ruben Mays breaks the tackle, fights his way through Tim Peoples. Still going. Ruben Mays carrying people up across the 40 to the... 41-yard line. Oh, Reuben Mays is just a load. A great runner. Ronnie Miles finally made the stop. Reuben Mays, when he gets going, is one of the best runners in the country. He's really something. This is the first time I've really had a chance to watch this guy in person, and I'm extremely impressed. Great power, great leg drive. You know, good, good body lean, and he just breaks tackles. Look at him. Always working for those extra yards. First and 10 now. The ball at the 41. That's left side Reuben Mays. Peoples out there banging on a Cougar pretty good. Ron Hadley making the stop. Cougars keep making some changes, putting different people in the ball game. Cougar band, that's right. Watch their team get a drive going. Pick up three, second and seven now. Mark Rippon looking over that Husky defense. Husky's trying to dig in now. It's Reuben Mays, number 36. Junior T, number 38. To the outside throw. It is complete. That's to Jeff Christensen. And Christensen has finally stopped after he picks up a Cougar first down. So the Cougars pick up a first down on that play. And we have a Cougar player down. I'll try to pick up the number for you in just a minute. Well, I'm not sure. It's just a quick three-step drop by the quarterback, a little hitch route by number eight. I think it's Mike Dreyer that was injured. Nice tackle by number 27, Vesty Jackson, with help from number three, Bo Yates. Mike Dreyer is the player down, the senior from Coeur d'Alene. He's had a bad shoulder all year long, and uh, maybe bothering him again brother played at Washington State earlier but a good ball game so far today but he is down after the Cougars pick up a first down and they have the ball now in Washington territory at the Husky 47 
We have 13.53 to play in a ball game. 14-14 tie. Bundle up crowd here at Husky <laughs> Stadium. People trying to keep warm and say, hey, I was at that ball game when it was in the <laughs> 20s and there was snow around the field. But now Dreyer is up and walking to the sideline. Could have been that shoulder that's been bothering him all year. Cougars up to the line of scrimmage. Alan Boatman comes in to replace him. Chase split out wide to the left. First and 10 at the 47. Wood in motion. And off inside. Not much there. Ron Hadley was the first man to make contact on the play along with Reggie Rogers. And, and Reuben Mays stopped short after picking up only a couple of yards. Make it second and eight now as the ball now moves down to the 45 yard line. Reuben Mays so far in a ball game before that play 19 carries 113 yards almost six yards a carry. 13.08 to play in the ball game. 14-14 tie. Second and eight. The ball at the Washington 45. Pitch to the outside. Junior T running room on his feet. Takes the tackle and finally tripped up at the 20-yard line. Another Washington State first down. Allen James tripped him up or he would have been gone. Oh, Junior T, a guy who can really run with the football, but he doesn't get a chance to run that often. 5'11", 200, the senior. Here it is. Pitch to the outside. The Talatasi. Uh, yeah. Well executed option play, just the way you're supposed to do it. Junior to Talatasi. He'd only carried seven times up to then. That's his eighth carry in the ball game. First and ten for Washington State at the Washington 20. Reuben Mays carries some people with him. He runs through Andy Fuimaono and gets down to the 15 and picks up five on the play. 12-29 to play in the ball game. Washington State on the move with a score tied 14-14. Cougar runners in the end zone. On their feet trying to stay warm. Reggie Rogers, Joe Kelly making the stop. Reuben Mays, 23 carries, 146 yards so far. Kittrick Taylor comes back in. Wood comes in. Number 13, second and five. 12-07 to play in the ball game. For Washington State, they're on the Washington 15. Reggie Rogers with the play for Washington on Mark Rippon. No gain. So now it's going to bring up third down. Rippon down the line, and Reggie was right there. Good play by Reggie. 6'7", 245 out of Sacramento, California, junior. Just turned to football last year. His brother Don, All-American at UCLA. Reuben Mays, number 36. Oh, keep an eye on him. 11.32 to go. Third down and five. The ball at the Washington 15. Ripping. Looking. Time to throw. Now the rush from all. That's Hadley after. Throws. Corner of the end zone. The Thunder fall. Taylor. Touchdown. Washington State. Griffin passing to Kittrick Taylor in the end zone from 15 yards out for the score. Allen James, the defender for Washington, slipped and fell down, and Kittrick Taylor was all alone and scores the touchdown. This is the, the, the here again, the, 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 the turf is the big factor because it looked like Allen James, number 32, had pretty good coverage on Taylor, and you can see him right there. He did have good coverage. He fell down, and, and t uh, Taylor makes the touchdown catch. James was in good shape. Crowd in to attempt the extra point. Ball up. And it's good. Just barely good. To the left. 11-19 to play in a ball game. Washington State 21. And Washington 14. McDonald's new McDLT. It could be the best tasting lettuce and tomato hamburger ever. You get a hot side hot. You get a cool side cool. New McD, LT, and the hot stays, and the cool stays. New McD, LT. New McD, LT. Come on in and try McDonald's new McD, LT for the everyday low price of just $1.49. We think you'll agree, McD, LT could be the best hamburger value ever. When the very first Saab was introduced, it was too small, not much to look at, kind of uncomfortable for passengers, and a little weird. But was it fun to drive? The latest Saab, the 9000, has none of those characteristics, except one. 
See your Puget Sound Saab dealer and discover the new Saab 9000 today. Mark Rippon throws 15 yards to Kittrick Taylor for a touchdown. Rippon now 7 of 15, 149 yards. Kittrick Taylor so far in the ballgame, four catches, 63 yards. The touchdown puts Washington State on top, 21 to 14 with 11, 19 to play in the ballgame. Trimble and David Toy back on the goal line for Washington, about to kick it off. Long driving kick. It will go five yards deep in the end zone, and Troy says, I'll let it go. And the Huskies will put it over, put it on, uh, put it in play, I should say, first and 10 at their own 20. You know, Bruce, on that touchdown pass, that last one from Rippon to uh, Taylor, the offense, when on a slippery turf, the offense always has the advantage because they know what they're going to do. They know what kind of a break they're going to make or what kind of a cut they're going to make, and the defender has to react to the offensive guy, and that's what happened right there. Taylor cut back outside, and James just slipped when he tried to stay with him. Okay, first and ten now for Washington. Huskies have to put a drive together to get back and tie the ball again. Second man through. Weathersby. Over the right side, picks up all oh, about four on the play, takes the ball out to the 24, and Murray Metcalf. In the strong side linebacker position makes the stop. Nine plays, 84 yards, 4-10 off the clock. The Cougars score on a 15-yard touchdown pass. 21-14, Washington State over Washington. Cougar fans really enjoying it now. They've come alive after the Huskies dominated play in the third quarter and early in the fourth quarter. Second and six for the Huskies now. The ball at the 24. Kicks to the outside. Weathers. Weathersby gets the first down before he's finally tripped up. Weathersby picks up about eight yards on the play. Mike Netlich making the play from the right defensive end position for Washington State. He is the redshirt freshman out of Yakima. Weathersby. Good young running back for the Huskies at 5'11", 192 out of Los Angeles. Ooh, there's a problem for Washington State. Eric Howard, outstanding defensive tackle. Hoblin on that left ankle. Boy, he's had a tremendous game today, too. Weathersby, 10 carries, 35 yards so far in the ball game. Weathersby and Covington have been the two guys that have carried the load for Washington. Nick Bolt comes in to replace Eric Howard. Bolt, a freshman, out of Gonzaga Prep in Spokane. Huskies now, first and 10. The ball at the 32, their own 32. Counter play, Weathersby. He gets the ball to the 35. 10-17 to play in the fourth quarter with the Cougars leading at 21 to 14. He picks up three on the play. Metcalf the stop along with Ricky Reynolds in the left corner position for Washington State. A little difference, Bruce, between Nick Volk at 6'2", 228, and a freshman, and Eric Howard, 6'4", 270, and a senior. That's going to hurt the Cougars a little bit here. Second oh, he's back down in there. for the Huskies. The ball at the Washington 35. David Toy in motion. You got Howard back in there. Rush, throw to the outside. Weathersby. Weathersby spinning away and goes to midfield. Weathersby gets the Washington first down as he takes it to midfield. Tim Burnham makes a great block on the outside. And the Huskies. This is the same play the Huskies have had so much success with today. Just a quick screen out to the right to Weathersby. With Tim Burnham out in front leading the way, good block there you can see. Good blocks by uh, Mo Hill and, and Rod Jones out there trying to help. Good pickup for the Huskies. Eric Howard, I said, back in the ball game. Left guard moves and Dusky for Washington. It's going to cost him five. He misses the count with 9.20 to go. Now all at once it's going to be first and 15 from their own 45. Forty nine thousand plus here at Husky Stadium. Penalties for Washington. That's two for ten yards. The Cougars only one penalty free football game so far. Full house backfield toy in motion. Bottom of the screen. Draw. Covington breaks it to the outside. Covington still going. Tries to fight his way off the tackle, but takes the ball now into Washington State territory to the 47-yard line. Artie Holmes making the stop in a strong safety position for Washington State. Draw play again to Covington. Good break there by Covington. He breaks the tackle. Breaks another tackle. 
finally hit by number 19, the strong safety, Artie Holmes. 20 carries, 103 yards so far for Tony Covington. Second and eight for Washington. Pitch. Weather. Cougars cover in a hurry as he picks up only about uh, four on the play. Going to be short of the first down by four yards. So now it's going to bring up a third down. Kevin Thomason coming up from the free safety position, along with Rob Cleveland. Left defensive end wouldn't be blocked. So the Huskies now facing third. Well, that's a long three, almost four. The ball at the 43 yard line of Washington State. Toy out. Two wide receivers put out wide to the right. That's Daryl Franklin, number seven. to throw. They're trying to get Eric Howard down. Finally, two. Big rush. That's Howard after him. Chandler, and he gets the first down. Dives ahead for the first down. Keeps the football. A tremendous play. As Kevin Thomas and finally knocks him to the ground, but Chandler gets the first down. What an athletic play by Chandler. A tremendous effort by Chris Chandler to get the first down. He's back to pass, and the Cougars must have great coverage because he has nobody to throw to. Gets pressure there from number 71, Natlich. Then you see big number Eric Howard coming in there, putting pressure on him. Watch this, the last effort right here to get the first down. Right there, great hit. Good shot right there. He had to get the ball to just over the 40-yard line. Chandler. He keeps it, goes straight ahead for seven yards. Takes the ball to the 33. This guy's making good things happen out of something that doesn't look like it's going to be very good to start with. There's two Six. plays in a row right there where he's had to do it himself and make the make the yardage, and he's done it. We got Steve Jones in the ball game for Washington. He's a freshman out of Sacramento. Little guy, but awfully quick. Number 25, 639 to play. Washington second and four. Ball at the 32. Washington State 32. That's Jones in motion. Chandler looking at a rush. Throw. Just throws that away. Intended for Mo Hill, number one. He also had Jones running out there as well. Well, here we go. Third and four again. Interesting. Chandler is the guy that took him the length of the field. Washington the length of the field. 98 yards against Washington State or against USC last week to win it 20 to 17. Can he do it again? Franklin comes back in the ball game. David Toy was in. Now he goes out. Number 17, Chris Chandler, 6'3 and a half, 206 pounds from Everett, Washington. He is only a sophomore. Cougar defense digs in. 626 to go. Third and four. Ball at the 33. Chandler, big rush. Throws. Gonna be picked off by Washington State at the 10. 15, set on his feet at the 20. Kevin Thomason runs it out of bounds. Pass intended for Lonzel Hill. 6.15 to go, and the Cougars stop the Husky drive. The Cougars got a blitz on. You can see number 57, number 27. Nobody picked up number 27. Chandler had to throw it quickly, threw it behind Franklin, and uh, number six, Kevin Thomason, picked it off. Terulia out there putting the pressure for Washington State on Chris Chandler on the play, so the Cougars take over now. 6.15 to go. They lead at 21-14. The ball at the Washington State 25. Robin May and a host of tacklers is finally pushed back after he picks up about three yards, four yards. Andy Fuimaono, first man to make contact for Washington, the senior out of South San Francisco. Six minutes exactly to go. That's one of the few times today that I've seen the Cougars blitz. Most of the time, they've been putting pretty good pressure on Chandler just with their four down linemen. That time, they came with about a six or seven man blitz and uh, paid off for him. Second and six at the 27 yard line. Mark Ripley, long count, 
Hand it to your fullback, and he just gets the ball to the 30-yard line. It's going to bring up third down. You keep looking at the clock with 5.24 to go. Galatelatasi. He gets to the 30 now. Cougars make a change. David Rill, Andy Fuimaono in there for Washington. Yates, number three. That's Reggie Rogers, 51. Dusty Jackson, 27. Kelly, 36. Will, 38 for Washington. Third and five. Ball at the 30-yard line. Look to the outside. Throw. It is complete and good for the first down. The ball complete to Michael James for a first down for Washington State by about a yard. The Cougars keep the drive alive. 4.51 to go in the ball game, and they are leading by seven. That's a dangerous throw out there, too, because you, pick, you get something like that picked off, and that defender's got a clear shot to the end zone. But uh, Cougars made it work. Fui Maono comes out of the ballgame, and Steve Roberts in for Washington. He's a senior out of Ashland, Oregon. First and ten now for Washington State. Wood in motion, top of the screen. Rippin's going to keep. Tim Peoples comes up to make the stop, but... Rippin picks up nine yards on the play and takes the ball to the 45. Good play here a bit by Rippin. And what you see right here is he, he, he cuts it upfield for some yards, but right there he tucks that thing away and makes sure he doesn't lose it on the hit. Protect that football. That's of utmost importance at this point. We have second and one. The ball at the 45. Reuben Mays. The only back. Pitches to the outside of Mays. Looking for some blocking. Reggie Rogers has Mays. But he gets the first down and takes the ball up to the 47-yard line and picks up the first down by about a yard. Needed one, gets two. 3.48 to go in a ball game. The Huskies have to do something now. Stop yes, this drive do. and get it back. They, Both they, teams have three timeouts left on the clock. Yeah, they, you know, the, the Cougars are a, uh, a good running football team, and this is the time of the game where if they just take that ball, they run it down your throat. you got to come up with something to get them stopped. Ruben May is the only running back now. First and ten, pitch to Mays. Mays hit by about six, seven Huskies. Tim Peoples is in on the play to lead the way. Ball loose. Washington recovers. Mays says no, no, no. But the official says yes, and Washington has it. And Milas down there in the bottom of the pile. Well, we just, we just said, Bruce, they got to come up with something to get the ball back, and they did it. Let's take a look at Mays there carrying the ball. He's carrying a little bit loosely. Good hit there by Peoples. A lot of Huskies around the football. Somebody's I, grabbing for it, trying to get it out of there. Boy, I'll tell you, it's hard to see. I didn't see the ball come loose. I didn't either. But, you know, you coach guys, when, when you've got that ball carrier hung up and those second, third, and fourth guys come in on the play, get that ball out of there, and that's what they did. Two fumbles by Washington State so far in a ball game. Chandler, pitch to the outside. David Toy slips at the 15, goes down. Oh, he had some daylight there. Yes, and he did. And fell down. 3.09 to go. The clock becomes very, very important now. Huskies taking their time getting back to the huddle. Toy goes out. Franklin comes in for him. Number 72 at the top of your screen. That's Kevin Gogan. Diggs Jr. offensive tackle on the right side for Washington. Some of the Cougar fans in the sunshine. The boy is cold there. Second and ten for Washington. Under three minutes to play. Chandler looks to the outside. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Vince Weathersby. So now it brings up a third and ten for Washington. 2.41 to go in a ball game. Washington State leads it 21 to 14. You can imagine how their hands feel down there, Bruce, because you and I have gloves on them. Mine are cold up there. It's just freezing up here. Huskies third and ten now. The ball right at midfield. 2.41 to go. They trail by seven. Chandler back. Big rush to the back side. Throws as he's hit. Almost caught and almost intercepted. So now it brings up fourth down. Great defensive play that time for Washington State. As they had Ron Collins coming from the outside from the free safety position. Yeah. Which, 
what you'll see here, Ron Collins was lined up from the bottom of your screen, the right of your screen. You're going to see number 25 coming. He's going to hit Chandler right in the back as he's about to throw the ball. Collins was initially lined up on the wide receiver like he was going to cover him. And then he came in, cheated in before the snap, and, and, and came in on the blitz. Fourth down. The Huskies go for it. Fourth and 10, 2.36 to go. Ball at midfield. Maybe the last gas. Get just as he throws. Lob pass. Complete to Mohill. Trying to break the tackle. Carrying him on with him. Break clear. 10, 5. Touchdown, Washington. Fourth down at midfield. Chris Chandler lobs the ball to Mo Hill, and he breaks the tackle. That score is wrong, by the way. He breaks the tackle and tries to carry Cedric Brown with him. Now a chance to look at it again and see what happened. He just fights Cedric Brown off. The Cougars had the blitz on again, the same blitz they had on the interception. Great effort by Chandler to get that ball away and a tremendous catch. Now here's Brown Mo trying Hill. to get him down, just trying to hold on to him. Kind of tripped away, and finally, Mo Hill just carries it down. Good block by Daryl Franklin down at about uh, the 15 yard line, 20 yard line. So the Huskies get on the scoreboard. They take time out on the field as they're going to talk over what they're going to do. It is 21 to 20 in favor of Washington State with 225 to play in the ball game. An incredible finish to another Washington Washington State football game. You will remember back in 1975, first time James, Don James was the head coach against Washington State. Washington State led in that ball game, 27 to 14 late in the ball game and only had to pick up a first down and had third and a couple decided to throw, picked it off, ran at the length of the field for a touchdown, got the ball back. The Hail Mary pass from Warren Moon to Spider Gaines to score and the extra point and they won it 28 to 27. Cougar band on their feet. They're very excited. All the Cougar fans are subdued just a little bit. They can't believe it. They had the Huskies in a fourth and 10 at midfield. So now they're going to go for two. The Huskies will go for two to win it with 2.25 to go in a ball game. And that's a good call. You've got to go for you the win. Go you really it. do. You don't play for a tie no, right now. Not now. Heck no. Go for it. If a tie meant that they would go to the Rose Bowl or something like that, hey, then you go for the tie or win a championship for them. But now you go all the way. Go for the win. Got to. Chris Chandler brings his team to the line of scrimmage. This for two points in the lead. Back to throw. Pressure from the outside. Lobs it. Corner of the end zone. Throws it out of the end zone. Intended for Mo Hill. The Cougars lead it 21 to 20. Ironically enough, Cedric Brown was defending on the play, and he had Mo Hill all the way. Cougar fans love it. 2.25 to go. It is Washington State 20. 21, Washington 20. You don't have to tell anyone how much you save by shopping at Kuppenheimer. Since Kuppenheimer makes the clothes, then sells the clothes, you buy them for less, 40% less. And the selection of suits, sport coats, slacks, shirts, and ties is sensational. Uh, what a relief to pay low prices for quality clothing. At Kuppenheimer. We don't cut corners to cut the price. Your daughter called lately? Too busy for that. Besides, it costs to call. She's only 40 miles away. It adds up. Kids all want to talk to Grandpa, you know. I'll show you the last pictures I got. Isn't there someone you'd like to call long distance right now? There's Hello. so much left to say. Grandpa! So how's my favorite dad? Don't drift away. Jeff Jagger to kick it off. Will they try an onside kick with 2.25 to go and trailing by one? Here they come. It looks like it. Huskies move it over now to uh, the left side. They need the football. Onside kick. Ball down low. Scramble for the football. And who gets it? There's a lot of pulling, shoving. Washington State with the ball. The Cougars recover. 
Cougar ball. Here's the scoring drive. Huskies four plays, 50 yards, 54 seconds off the clock. The big play, 50-yard touchdown pass to Mo Hill on fourth down. Chris Layton is the man who recovered the football for Washington State. 21 to 20. Cougars lead the Huskies with 223 to play, and the Cougars will have it at their own 48-yard line. Husky defense, you have to dig in and cause something to happen right now. Yeah, you do. You got to come up with another big play. You got to come up with a turnover. Washington has two timeouts left. Washington State three. And we still have an injured player down at about the 46-yard line. Well, quite a bit of time. Two minutes and 25 seconds is a lot of time left if the Huskies can get the ball back with the two timeouts they got left. But they can't let the, uh, the Cougars, you know, just uh, run off the clock and, and, and pick up those first downs. They got to come up with something here to get that ball back. Well, obviously, the Cougars will try to get it to Ruben May. Junior T is down, and that's who comes up on the play. Okay. Junior to Talatasi. The big fullback is down. That's Don James. Skip Hall next to him. He coaches the outside linebackers. Jim Lambright, the defensive coordinator upstairs, just down the hall from us. Here we go. First and ten now for Washington State. They make a change. They put a wide receiver. Rick Chase in the backfield. You're going to hand it, though, to Reuben Mays. And Mays gets the ball near midfield, picks up only a yard on the play. Clock continues to run. 2.14 to play in the ball game, And the Cougars will just let it run down. Timeout finally called with 2.08. And I think they lost about six, seven, eight seconds right there. So with 2.08 to play in the ball game, it's Washington State 21 and Washington 20. do-it-yourself has just gone down with pay and tax November month-long sale. You'll find warehouse prices on Kincaid tub enclosures from plain to deluxe mirror units. This deluxe Vistaglide model is just $139.97 after manufacturer's rebate. And did we get a deal from the factory on Owens Corning fiberglass insulation? Craft-faced R11 at 13 and a quarter cents a square foot. Craft-faced R19, 23 and a quarter cents a square foot. A fool and his money are soon parted. We don't see any fools at the pack. Here's the situation. 2.08 to go in the ball game. Washington State leading 21 to 20. They have it second and nine. The ball right at midfield. The clock, the enemy of the Huskies right now, along with the Cougars. Handoff, left side. Junior T back in the ball game, and he fights down to the 45. Huskies say they got the ball back. Timeout call by Washington, 201. Only took seven seconds to run that play. David Rill and Alan James in on the play for Washington. Now, the Huskies are out of timeouts with 2.01 to go, and we're now looking at third and about 0-3. Third and three. Well, this is the play of the ball game as far as Washington State is concerned, and Washington. Yeah, the Huskies can't stop the clock. They're out of timeouts. Uh, if the Cougars have pick up a first down here, the Huskies are in, are in serious trouble. Cougars make some changes now offensively. Some different people in there. I see coming in the ball game now for Washington State. Cotton Sears is in. They've got about three yards to go. This isn't going to be an easy task for the Cougars. Third and three. Third and three, and they're up at the line of scrimmage, and it's still timeout. And the Huskies uh, have their two linebackers, Rill and Kelly, over talking to Don James, and the Cougars come to the line of scrimmage and say, we're ready to play. Now. We're ready to go. Huskies trying to dig in. The ball at the 45. Third and a long two. 2.01 to go. Hand off. Ruben Mays breaks the tackle. First down. That's the football game. I don't think there's any way now that Washington, unless Washington State fumbles the ball, can win it. 
people. Bestie Jackson to stop it. Or they did a good job inside. Yeah, they did a great job. They had a good blocking uh, scheme there and a uh, pretty good hole for Mace to go through. It looked like somebody had a shot at him. We'll see it here again on the replay. I couldn't tell who he ran right by there, but he ran by a couple people. Good blocking by the Ruben Cougar May, offensive line. 28 carries, 165 yards. 135 to play in the ball game. Long count. Handoff. Mays again. With the Mays with the ball. He gets the ball to the 35. 126 to go. Huskies can't stop the clock. Nothing they can do about it now. Andy Fui Maono and Ron Hadley in on the play. 21 to 20. Washington State over Washington. It has been just a great football game. Uh, it's been a great game, Bruce. Uh, both two good football teams. This, this Cougar team has been especially impressive for a 3 and 7 team. Uh, they've looked awfully good today. 103 to play in a ball game. They'll just fall on the football now. Second and nine. Mark Rippon goes down. 51 seconds to go. And now it brings up third and 10. 42 seconds to go. Cougar fans begin to celebrate in both end zones. And the Cougar players begin to celebrate. That means they've defeated the Huskies three out of the last four years. Twice here. And twice here in Seattle. Washington will drop to six and five. 22 seconds to go. Fall on the ball and it's over. He does. Brings up fourth down, and that's the ball game. Washington State will defeat Washington by a score of 21 to 20. And the Cougars will close out their season with a four and seven record. The Huskies will drop to six and five. That's their worst record since 1976, the second year that Don was here. There's the final score, 21 to 20. Washington State over Washington, and Cougar fans will be celebrating all night here in Seattle on a cold, cold night. We hope you've enjoyed the football game. It's been a lot of fun for us to bring it to you. This 78th renewal of the Washington-Washington State Series with the Cougars winning it 21 to 20. And the Cougars now finishing their season with a four and seven record, winning their final two ball games and defeating Washington the last two times they have played here in Seattle. Cougars dominated play early in the ball game. And then the Huskies came back to play uh, very well in the third quarter and early in the fourth quarter and almost pulled it out and had a chance with a little less than three minutes ago to take the lead but missed on a two-point conversion. We're trying to take a fence down over at the side. We'll be back with more from Husky Stadium right after this. What do you do when you already build one of the best production sports cars in the world? If you're Nissan, you build it even better. Introducing the new Nissan 300ZX. Sleeker, sharper, slicker, hotter, awesome. The new 300ZX, one of the best sports cars in the world, just got better. The name is Nissan. This is the Bonds pre-holiday coupon sale experience. 148 savings coupons with unbelievable prices. 50% off homeworld items, 33% off women's wear, 33% off men's wear, 33% off junior and children's wear, 50% off triangle shop values, and 40% off clearance items. 148 coupons with savings good now through November 26th at the Bond, where the choices are. Washington State defeats Washington 21 to 20 here at Husky Stadium this afternoon and Harry Sloan's on the sideline with a couple of players. Harry? A couple of stars of the game. Ruben Mays, an incredible effort on your part. Uh, the Cougars pull it out on the end. Your thoughts on the game? Yeah, it's a great feeling. You know, um, we just want to go out there and play you know, good football, have a few turnovers and just you know, play hard in those football. And that's what we did. We had a few turnovers, but we, killed, we overcame it and uh, had a lot of poise and pull it through. That third and two, right in the final seconds, ticking off. You had to have it, and you got through. Yeah, we got through. You know, great blocking up front by the offensive linemen. They've been doing it all year for us, and we just, you know, the hole was there. I just ran through it. What does it mean to you? It's final great. Game? It's great. You know, it's my senior year. You know, it's against our straight rivals. You know, it's, it feels great. All right. Congratulations. Thank That's you. for you, young man. You've got a long way to go, uh, and you just uh, had an incredible effort today. Uh, the, your thoughts? The two-point conversion, it didn't work. Let's start there and work backwards. Well, we uh, 
we had our plan. Hopefully, they, we were hoping they would be in zone, and uh, they brought a lot of guys. They had the underneath guys covered, and before I knew it, the guy was in my face, and I just tried to throw it up for grab some more. Well, I tell you, you came out in the second half. You just started that drive. You got it going, and, uh, and you got it done. And then you, you tied the game on a brilliant two-point conversion, and then the interception hurt you. Yeah, you know, they uh, they did a good job. They, they were bringing a lot of pressure um, all game long. You know, they had the up front guy, Howard, and the other linemen. They were bringing a lot of heat. And, uh, you know, I just a couple times tried to throw the ball at down the field to our receiver, and, uh, you know, got, got picked off. I'll say one thing. You've certainly come of age these last two games. Well, uh, thanks. Thank you, Chris Chandler. A brilliant performance by both teams. Just an exciting, exciting game. And uh, the conditions, as bad as they were, didn't seem to hamper play all that much. It was just a good, hard football game that was played today with the Cougars coming out on top in the end, 21-20. With me now, Jim Walden, you've got to be really happy. <laughs> Well, you know, that's what you play these far. It's just a great football game, and I think the people hope they all of them enjoyed it. It was a super game, and it's always good when you win, especially when you win with this one. Was your heart stopped a little on that two-point conversion attempt? Oh, well, my heart stopped when I saw Mo Hill grab the ball. We couldn't get him down. You know, it's just, we got fourth and ten, and the kid Chandler, who you just talked to, did a great job because we brought the blitz, and he just floated it right in there. So it's a great effort on their part, and I'm glad we won, though, in the end. I tell you, this is what college football is all about. Two teams just going at it right to the final second. That's what it's all about. I've said ever since I've been here, there's nothing greater than, than college rivalries. I don't care Super Bowls or anything else. It's the thing that makes everything work, and that's throw everything away. You got one chance to recover, and that's what rivalry is all about. I love it. You told me on Tuesday it's the sweetest ice cream you'll ever eat if you can <laughs> beat the Huskies. I imagine you'll be doing a little eating tonight. Well, that's no true. You know, and, and if you got a little something to, to win with it, so fortunately, unfortunately for us, we don't have anything else, so we'll just... Let this warm our hearts all through the year. I say you have a little better winner now. You bet. We're happy. Thank okay, you. Thank you, you bet. Jim. Congratulations. Jim Walden, Chris Chandler, Reuben Mays, they made for an exciting day here at Husky Stadium. As the Cougars win at 21-20, Bruce, let's toss it back to you. And Harry, thank you very much. If you're a Cougar fan, yeah. You can put up the flag today. Reuben Mays, unofficially, 29 carries for 166 yards in the ball game. And Chris Chandler today, 15 of 30 for 198 yards. One play that he'd love to have back. That's the two-point conversion. The Cougars played it very, very well. Huskies had a chance to win the ball game on that two-point conversion, or at least get the lead at 22-21, but it wasn't to be, as Washington State wins it today, 21-20. Good football game, and I'm sure you enjoyed it, Jim. Oh, great game. Great to work with you, Bruce. Uh, like, like Coach Wallen said, just a tremendous uh, football game. Uh, couldn't ask for a better game uh, when you have an interstate rivalry like this but uh, the Cougars you know they they deserve to win the ball game they played a good solid four quarters came up with the big plays when they had to I can't say enough about Reuben Mays he's a tremendous football player he certainly is and now that puts Washington into a very interesting situation they are six and five this year and there's talk they will go to the Freedom Bowl no matter what but again that's a decision that's going to have to be made in the locker room in just a few minutes for Washington State they finished four and six Seven. So there you see the fans going out of Husky Stadium, a full crowd of 49,000 plus on hand to watch the Huskies play the Cougars today. And the Cougars win it by a score of 21 to 20. And we'll be back with a final thought right after this. Hi, I'm Dick Enberg for GTE. You know, telecommunications and football have a lot in common. They both involve things like good connections, conference calls, and data communications. And for their communications, more and more NFL teams rely on GTE. Teams like the Dallas Cowboys, Tampa Bay Bucks, Indianapolis Colts, and Seattle Seahawks. For your quality communications, talk to the telecommunications consultant at Super Bowl XX. Talk to GTE. We respond. If you use Chevron gasoline, please close your eyes. If you don't, keep them open, because you may need this. If your car idles rough, hesitates, stalls, due to engine deposits with the gasoline you now use, then you need Tecron. One bottle can clean out the deposits. And to keep them from coming back, just use Chevron unleaded gasoline with Tecroline. All four U.S. automakers for their EPA test use only Chevron with Tecroline. Chevron, it's an answer to the deposit problem for everyone. Chevron says yes. This is where teamwork begins. Not with a team, but with the commitment each player makes to bringing everything he can into the game. At Sea First Bank, over 7,000 people have made the same kind of personal commitment. And when that standard of excellence is shared by each one of us, no goal is beyond our reach. He knew how much.
much they wanted him when the company made their offer. It was impressive. But the thing that closed the deal was the health care benefits for him and his family. They gave him his choice of traditional coverage, the HMO Health Plus, dental, and more. And it was a solid indication of how important he was to them. The health plan they offered? Blue Cross. No one offers you more health care coverage. Blue Cross, number one, for all the right reasons. Cold, cold day in Seattle, but the Cougars, it's going to be warm for them because they win it. They beat Washington 21 to 20. Comes down to a couple of plays in the second half. Let's look at the highlights right now, that second half of the ball game, and two key touchdowns in the game, right? This one, Washington State on third and 15, rolling to the outside. Here's the throw into the corner of the end zone. Defender falls. Kittrick Taylor makes the catch, and it's good. And they go. the Cougars go up by a score of 21 to 20. Fourth and 10 for Washington. Under three minutes to play. The ball at midfield. Back to throw Chandler. Defender in his face. Throws to Mohill and makes the catch. Now watch what he will do. Mohill will just fight, 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 and finally break loose and get into the end zone to score the touchdown that made it 21 to 20. Huskies go for two at the end. But they miss, and that's it. Jim Mora, quite a football game, wasn't it? Great football game. Very evenly fought. Uh, two good football teams. I think the Cougars just came up with one or two more big plays. They certainly did. For Jim Mora and for Harry Sloan on the sideline, we hope you enjoyed the telecast of this game. The Washington-Washington State football game as the Cougars win it by a score of 21-20. to 20. Good night. <laughs>